Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Wrestling Is Silly. Love wins the loveliest, the gayest wrestling show on Twitch. My name is Eden, and joining me from the locker room, warming up before his big in-ring debut, is Detective Barry. Zach, how are you doing on this? I'm, I'm doing good. It's funny. It's like whenever somebody says my name is with exactly that. Um, his cadence. intonation, like the, the, yeah, the cadence. I always finish that off with uh, Thomas Tom Scott Ridgewell. Um, hey, you, my name is Thomas Tom Scott Ridgewell. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he sounds nothing like that, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, he sounds a little, a little less whiny than that. Um, yeah, you but... really did bitch him up for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the do best you, I can. Do you have some, do you have some <laughs> Tom Scott feelings? Do you not like him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just, I went into that way more confident about my Tom Scott impression than I actually should have been. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the problem. Um, yeah, yeah. no, it's fine. We've all done it. We've all, done it. <laughs> We've all gone. Oh no, I thought I could do this impression, but I, I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I have vowed to never try and change my voice for any reason whatsoever. That is, that is just coward talk. My, see my. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Fair. I don't mind that. Guess what? I'm an unembarrassed coward. What? What do you want from me? That's that's very <laughs> fair. My way of doing it is the opposite. I will I will launch headfirst into any impression, knowing it's gonna be bad. But that's just half the fun. It's like doing karaoke. I do it knowing I'm gonna be bad, but I I have fun doing it, and that's the important thing. Yeah, that's true. Except I, the the thing is, I think there's a difference between karaoke and like putting on a voice. And I think the difference is I get inherent joy out of singing <laughs> that, that i'm came, bad at that it that is true but I, like i like it it's fun like the, there's nothing i don't think there's anything quite like singing for just no. absolutely freeing the soul even if you're bad at it oh um, yeah like it's kar- like that's why karaoke is is a fun thing that people do yeah, like people love that Human i adore some karaoke with their fleshy meat sacks they just <laughs> love wailing out a ballad who yeah, a flesh a fleshy meat sack wailing out a ballad is great. I, I will even stretch to say I would do public karaoke. I don't even do private karaoke. Oh no, I'm not that brave. <laughs> but then to be fair though, uh fucking HRT absolutely bust my vocal cords, so like it's it, I, I just I am so aware that I'm really shit at singing now and I just don't want to do that to like, people, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, like like <laughs> puberty fucked my vocal cords and I just No, no, no. I just don't. Let's not go there. The two are not comparable. <laughs> but I, my, my point is, I can't sing. <laughs> but I do it. Yeah, but I is, will I do it anyway. I used to be able to. I used to be able to. And then, like, HRT just absolutely fucked me. And now, like, I'm stuck sounding like a heinous teenage boy the rest of my life. So that's exciting. But, um, um, but yeah, the difference, <laughs> what, I was, what I was getting at is that... Like, I don't get that inherent joy out of doing an impression or, like, I don't know, accents and shit. I don't... None of that's fun. I don't, I don't <laughs> want to do that. So... Fair. I'll just be a coward. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I, I, I... I will, like, most of the time, I will chicken out of doing an impression and... But, like, so, so like, so like uh, I go on uh, the Life's a Pitch podcast a fair amount, and yeah. uh, they they will just bust out, like, impressions, and it will be... It's usually, like, a Danny DeVito or a Tommy Wiseau. Those are the two big ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I will, I will, like... Or they'll just do, like, an accent, like a New York accent, and they'll, like, riff, riff in New York accent. I'm like, I can't reliably just turn on a New York accent like that. I've got to lead... I've, I, I need, I need my, my lead-in word. I'm going to be totally honest. I don't know what a New York accent sounds like. It's the, hey, I'm walking here. And then you just keep going in that kind of annoying voice. Um, right, okay. <laughs> again, <laughs> see, see, see why I don't do, I don't do the New York because I can't, I can't do the New York. It's like, yeah, it's like, cool. it's, it's real fun to, to say a thing like Yamai from the new, like a dragon game. But if you can't, like, if you can't lead in with the Thorm is, oh, it's really hard oh, to just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. launch it, into it, that. You, you have to, you have to say the Tom Izawa first, or you're just not getting that yeah. right. You, you got to rev up the engine with a bit of Tom Izawa. 
He doesn't even say it that much. No, I think he said so he said it maybe three times in the entire game. Um, <laughs> and that is not a small game. So no, like not a small game, and he has a big role in it. Ah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, um, Tom is our one of the Yakuza characters that is not in this show this evening. Um, we have yeah. lots of them. We have three we of our matches to... have have like a dragon people in them, and that's yeah, fun. Well, that's real fun. We do need to get in touch with Yamai's uh, representatives. We do. We do. Them. We need to have Yamai's people talk to our people because. Yeah. You know, he might he might fit. He might there's, there and might honestly, be a place for him in the flipshit division. We, we we're dry on RGG women as well. That's true. Like, We've, we like, might need to see if we can find one. Akame's here, but she doesn't fight, um, so mm. she's kind of useless to me. Um, but yeah, we do need. We, like, I'm not saying we just need to flood the game with more RGG people, but I wouldn't say no oh, yeah. to uh, you know Psycho and Chitose and maybe even like Kaito. Um, oh yeah, in the women's division. Not in the, not in the women's <laughs> division, you spanner. I just meant generally speaking, you spanner, you absolute peanut. <laughs> you quite finished. Yeah. So you've not finished. Nobody else has finished. Infinite Wealth yet, and I've got so many things to say about that game. I'm so I'm I'm but, really close. I'm like in the it's done that thing where it's gone. Oh, um, this is the point of no return. Like if you continue the story now, th then you will not be able to come yes. back. And I'm you've, like, you've, right. you've hit the, the you've hit the end point, and yeah. you're now you know like which I believe every accused game has. Yes, some of them have too. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Zero has two because you obviously got Curious and then you've got Majors. Um yeah. But yes, if you, you have hit the point of no return, um, which means you need to go and go past it and get to the end, please. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, the problem is I'm not ready for it to be finished. That's, oh, I that's was the I was problem. like that. But if once if you hit that point of no return, there is still a lot of game left. Like going past that point yeah. of no return, there's still a lot of game left. Yeah, I know, but I just. I just, I, I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready to, I, I'm not emotionally prepared to go past that point yet. I get it. I get it. I get it. Don't worry. Um, it's why I've had to take a little break, go back to RuneScape <laughs> for a bit. You got to play, play, just play a little RuneScape, get, get your, get your thoughts in order. I, I understand. Yeah. I get it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I don't think I've cried so much at a game ever before in my life. Oh, it's a real fucking emotional game, isn't it? It's a yeah. real emotional game, and I love I love that it's doing genuinely like so I've, good, like so much good shit. There, there have been moments where it's made me cry so hard and giving myself a headache. <laughs> oh, get it? And it's just it's a real like, emotional I, one. You think that it's just gonna be some light hee hee ha ha's, and then it gets you again. Yeah, it just <laughs> it just punches you in the gut with a big old yeah. fistful of emotions. Yeah. Oh, it's such a good game though. Such a good game though. Yeah. <laughs> I just sometimes I need to admire the game a little bit more because yeah. it's very good. Yeah. You can tell what yeah, our entire week good. has been, can't you? Everyone yeah. in chat. You can tell our I entire week has just I literally been... don't have anything else to talk yeah, about because I'm I... really all over my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean we we we've we've uh the the Yakuza pride pins are in production now, but that's just more Yakuza. Um, yeah, yeah, we've just it's it's been it's been a big old like a dragon week, and I'm not even sorry because it's a fucking good game. Everyone yeah. go play it. Everyone go play it after after tonight's show because tonight or at is... least you know like I think they're still they might still be on sale. The I think ones, they're on sale. Yes, I think they? the first six are on sale. There's there's the year of the dragon sale. Um, yeah. Well, look, all I'm saying is it's like the cheapest way to ruin your life. Okay. Just go and do it. <laughs> go and do it. Yeah. Like, uh, we had, we had Bonky, uh, who may be in the chat, uh, buy and give us a live walkthrough of the first couple of hours in the discord. And it was just, why am I playing karaoke in this mafia game? And it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, well, welcome to Yakuza. It's, it, it'll, it'll do that. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> It's wrestling a silly love wins. It is, it is the special Valentine's episode on actual Valentine's Day of all things. 
Um, it's, it's Valentine's Day, and I personally am practicing the most important kind of love, which is self-love. And by that, I mean I'm lying in bed, very, very <laughs> comfy. I am practicing the best kind of love, and by that, I mean uh, bashing pop culture characters together like action figures for my own enjoyment. Um, yeah, rubbing them up and down to yeah, start a fire to make them fight and/or maybe kiss. Um, yeah, depending on depending on which which combination of figures. Yeah. Yeah. We're opening the show this week with the tag team title match. We all we all were very excited last week when the fight boyfriends did it, got to the end of the tournament. They the, did it. They did it right in the middle of the ring. It was it was like edge and leader all over again. Um <laughs> They 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 reunited properly. They had a little gay moment in a back alley somewhere, and then <laughs> I don't think we like got that, that on film. <laughs> don't think we got that on film. Uh... <laughs> they won the tournament, and now they are in the World Tag Tournament. They they have beaten the tag tournament. They are now in the World Tag Championship match against Sonic Generations. This is their second match against each other. The first time this match happened, Sonic Generations were champions, Fight Boy Friends were the, were the challengers, and Fight Boy Friends walked away with the titles. Can they yeah, do it again? Was, and that was in an upset as well. Mm -hmm. Like, that Genuinely, I don't even remember if they'd won that many before. No, we we gave they did not they did not have the 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 records to back it up. We gave them a title shot because it was your birthday, and oh my god, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was it was the fight birthday if you remember. <laughs> yeah, it was over a year ago now. Yeah, insane. And and now they are back. It is it is it is fight boyfriends versus Sonic Generations two. Who is your money on everyone? I would ask you, but it's it's not even yeah, worth asking you. There's no commentary on the bias desk. No Rachel. commentary on the bias desk. Will we open Love Wins with a title change? It is... Uh, no, I wanted to press the, the yes button, not the no button. Now I've got to write in the, the fucking name again. Um, oh, embarrassing. Let's get the prediction open. Let's get... Let's get things started. It is Love Wins, and here is your opening contest. Your opening contest for this evening is a Wrestling is Silly Tag Team Championship match. First, the challengers from Kamurocho, Tokyo, Japan, Majima Goro, Kazuma Kiryu, Fight Boy Friends. It's Kiryu Kazuma, but... I'll I always get that one, I always get the wrong way around, because it's 2Ks, I and I forget. <laughs> I, to be honest, I think the problem is the subtitles always change it yeah. around, and mm -hmm. it's like, stop that. I don't like it. I can literally hear them. Stop it. Oh, yes. Kiryu Kazuma, Majima Goro, your current Wrestling is Silly Men's World Champion. No. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm <laughs> thinking. I'm thinking you're saying they were tag champions. I'm getting myself confused. I'm sorry. I'm very comfy lying down. <laughs> This will continue. <laughs> and their opponents from the Green Hill Zone wing in at a combined 32 bits of blast processing. They are the Wrestling is Silly Tag Team Champions, Sonic Generations. Uh... <laughs> you, can't, you can't boo them. What? You can't that just boo me. them. That wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. Boo! Apparently we're on sub-only chat. We shouldn't be on sub-only chat. Let me turn. Let me make sure that's turned off. You should be able to chat now. Can you chat now? Can you chat now? Or it is my chat just date. broken? Is my chat just fucked? I think chat's broken. Oh, dear. Oh, there we go. Ah, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I that's weird. On my end, it says you enabled it and then disabled it. Yeah, I, I don't to be honest, I enabling it, but maybe. I think there was something weird about um, because you know when you 
you know how you automate the announcement thing and like yeah. it all goes out when you start streaming it didn't work at first ah because i was already on the mod view so it like took all of the chat measures off but then you didn't start streaming so it, it was a bit weird a bit delayed so i wonder if it was something to do with that maybe i also can't see chat in my chat window which is a problem uh i can see chat though i've got the mod view up so yes i've now got mod window up in a separate window i didn't but... think chat was very quiet i thought god they're being so well behaved today <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking pop. People are so ready for this. People people are so very ready for this. And it's gonna be it's gonna be one hell of an open contest. I mean, these this this has been sort of written. This was the the, the storyline that I really wanted to happen, but I was afraid wasn't going to. So now yeah, that it now we didn't that want to jinx it. Yeah, didn't want to jinx it. But now that it is real, now that it is happening, I'm so excited. Um We've got Freya, our our new uh, our new lead referee there, officiating, picking up those two. I I still can't believe nobody's changed those belts yet. That's such a gaudy belt strap. Yeah, they really are. And the bell has rung. Our opening contest is underway. Oh, beautiful flying drop kick there from Classic Sonic again. Long storied rivalry between these two teams. They've been in the ring together once before they've been on the same team together of course in blood and guts back uh back in christmas that was i believe um uh and no blood and guts was september uh, oh. was it september anyway, uh, that was the blood and much blood and guts match um, no graveyard smash won it it was yeah it's, i think blood and guts was at graveyard smash because no it can't have been because i think um did the five boyfriends break up last September? Yes. Uh, oh yes, because at in in Blood and Guts, Majima was on the opposite side of as the other three. Yeah, yeah, three. yes. Okay, so Blood and Guts must have been Graveyard Smash. Then. Yes. And again, last time these last time these two teams were in the ring together, it was the fight boyfriends that walked away with the victory and with the title. Can they do the same thing again? Movie Sonic getting dunked into the ground there by Kiryu as a. Perfect moonsault is landed by Majima. And Majima goes over the top. Beautiful springboard crossbody. Okay. And a that was a bit sexy. Oh my god. Oh, oh my Kiri god. Doesn't quite catch all of it. Lands right on his tailbone. Hopefully that won't slow him oh down too god. much. You see, it seems to be bouncing right back into the fight throwing Sonic, movie Sonic into those uh, thematic red barricades that I spent a long time God, looking for. That, that, <laughs> that fucking sent a shockwave up my spine. Yeah, oh, I don't was, know how Kiryu is standing. <laughs> I know what you mean. That was that was not a pretty sight, but... Oh, step up into Gary there from classic Sonic into a springboard DDT. Majima does not look in a good state right now. Oh, he's just fe he's like feigning. Uh, like he course, always course. seems worse for wear, and then like he'll suddenly snap back and be like, "Fucking!" Actually, I was good the normal. whole time. <laughs> yeah, he does like playing possum to try and get the best fight out of people, and I, I appreciate yeah. that. But meanwhile, oh, flying kick there onto Movie Sonic, but he seems to just rebuff it. Whereas meanwhile, the two bigger men in the center of the ring, Kiryu, beautiful combination of strikes, flying knee, gets the cover. Movie Sonic just in time to break it up. Tries to get that waist lock. Kiryu, too strong, pushes Movie Sonic into those ropes. Movie Sonic though bounces back. Both teams at the top of their game. Majima switching, switching opponents just in the nick of time, but right into another springboard DDT. I think they might bust the guy open. Right in time to get buzzed open, yep. yeah. And then another kneeling DDT as well. Oh, oh! 
Kiryu. Lord Almighty, Kiryu. Kyle Driver off at the apron onto the outside. That was an incredible, incredible move, but... Kiryu did not come to fucking play. Kiryu like... did not come to fucking play around. Yes, welcome, Hannah. I, I do appreciate you were in a you were in a sequence in Yakuza, but spin dash there from Classic Sonic off the top rope. You should have said I'd have waffled longer. <sighs> I was in fact I was so good I didn't even like keep talking because I was aware that we've got like an absolutely stacked card and normally we at least have slightly more promos. Yes. That we can like get so we can get away with nattering for half an hour. But so no, I this... specifically did not just waffle oh, half and half and Kiryu on the outside Majima did not succumb to the spin dash fortunately for the fight boyfriends but he does not look in a great state beautiful northern okay. might suplex though <laughs> I say this with no disrespect but when does he look in a great state oh super <laughs> kick though super kick got him got him down no 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 oh that, another that near fall actually in Kiryu that was dodge. actually involuntary. <laughs> Kiryu... <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that you're in, as enthralled as you are in this match. Movie <laughs> Sonic draping DDT. Oh, driving Majima into the ground. Suplex though from Kiryu. Kiryu needs to keep an eye on his partner here because Majima, doesn't, Majima needs a little bit of time to recover right now. <laughs> I think Majima's dead. Majima's on that. another planet right now, I've got to say. <laughs> But there's the super mat, the essence of flying fist from Kiryu, but he's not getting Sonic in a pinning combination because the beast mode driver. But he needs to get he needs to get classic Sonic out. Hits him with the dunk. Hits him with that Ushigoroshi. But but classic Sonic still getting back up. The Dragon of Doji were trying to hold his own, but right into a super kick from Sonic. Oh, driving knee from Majima. Majima seems to have come back down to earth. And now trying to clean up the pieces. Snap power slam there. White Boyfriend's back on top, but the Sonics, again, they're great at bouncing back. These guys are the champs for a reason, though. Mercury with the cover. Ooh, Sonic a kicking one out at one. Off. That was that was a move of a champion. Movie yeah, Sonic now pin was. on Majima. <sighs> Classic Sonic throwing himself over the top rope to keep Kiryu from breaking up the pin, but Majima, in the nick of time, gets the kick out. I don't think my heart can handle this. <laughs> This is this is an incredible opening contest so far. Cutter there from Movie Sonic. Majima is really taking a beating right now. Classic Sonic has Kiryu distracted on the outside, but for how long? Oh, pop up Hurricane Rana that takes him back down. Majima though back on his feet. Majima is waiting for something. Is he going to try and? Oh, he's going to try and choke Movie Sonic out. The essence of choking. Classic Sonic though notices. Ooh, Movie Sonic's been doing his fucking homework. He was right in there with the breakup. And yeah, these, these two teams are putting on one hell of an opening contest. There's the Cyclone Kick into the drop kick, which Majima avoids somehow. <laughs> Don't know what they did there. But it's good he did, though. <laughs> yep. Ooh, ton standing Tornado DDT there from Classic Sonic. Majima had to change tack, but right into a flying drop kick. This is not looking good for the Fight Boyfriends, i got to say. Sonic is, the Sonics have sort of shut them down every opportunity. And now Classic <laughs> Sonic just taking, taking Majima to task. Flipping neck breaker. And now leg DDT shattering, smashing the, the heel of Majima into the mats. But meanwhile, on the outside, another spin dash oh. from Sonic on the inside gets the cover. Oh, no. Ooh, Majima with the oh last second kick out. Meanwhile, oh, on the outside, sorry. I gotta say, the, the butterfly pile driver onto a steel chair from Kiryu on the outside. Kiryu did not come to fuck around today. 
And now over the top rope, the Terminator Ooh. dive, crunching classic Sonic under his feet. Is this the, is this the comeback for the Fight Boy friends? Something so, that they're, they're both on top of the game. No movie Sonic. Oh, oh, movie Sonic. Beautiful comeback and smashing uh, Majima's face into the mats. Spanish commentary coming in for a special occasion as usual. But now both Sonics teaming up on Kiryu. Kiryu being dunked into the floor with that X Factor. And this is, I gotta say, this 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 could easily go either way at this point. Both teams giving it their all. It feels like whenever one member of one team is getting it getting is winning against a member of the other team, the other two are always in the reverse, right? Yeah. Like if Kiri is getting one over on Classic Sonic movie sonic will be getting one over on majima yeah. and then like those just flip in every combination although this is the, this is that rare occasion where both fight boyfriends are on top but so maybe i spoke too aligning. soon mad uh, Ki movie sonic one step ahead of kiryu there but right into a northern light suplex from majima come on one of you has got to get into for classic oh. sonic stop focusing <laughs> yeah usually they're quite good at separating in these moments but they're both now I think they're just with their too eyes happy. on Movie they're, Sonic. <laughs> they're just too happy to be reunited, I think. Maybe. This flurry of blows there. A lariat from Classic Sonic. A pin, maybe trying to... Kiryu, maybe trying to sneak a pin out of nowhere, but Classic Sonic a little bit too fast. I think he was hoping that Classic Sonic uh, would be too... Too distracted. Shot, beautiful yeah. shotgun dropkick from Majima there. And now Majima on his own, having to fight both Sonics off. Classic Sonic whipping the shotgun dropkick in retaliation, but getting the flying kick. But Kiryu, Kiryu there waiting. Ooh, Ooh. Right into Sonic's Hurricane Rana, and the, a kick that managed to get both the boys down. Both Sonics now with an eye on Kiryu. Spin dash, but nobody was home. But a super kick from Movie Sonic. Cover. Majima. Majima. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the 2.99, but not quite enough. It's Movie Sonic again going for the draping DDT, but Majima has got one over on Classic Sonic. He's rolling back. Oh, uh, that that uh, that mad that dog teleportation magic coming into play, yeah, 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 and yeah. now the essence of choking onto Movie Sonic while Classic Sonic's having to pull himself up by the ropes, and Classic Movie Sonic has tapped. Holy shit! Holy shit! We're so back! We're so back! <laughs> Sorry. Here are your winners. And new Wrestling is Silly Tag Team Champions, Kiryu Majima Fight Boy Friends. Wow. What a match. What a start to, uh, what a start to Wrestling is Silly Love Wins. The gay outcome we all wanted, indeed. <laughs> oh boy, for the for the nine percent of you that voted for Sonic Generations, I'm sorry, but the Fight Boy Friends, new tag champs, <laughs> they are covered in gold right now. M Majima yeah. tag champ, Kiryu tag champ, and world champ. Um, but that that world champ could change hands at the end of the show because. They might have put it all on the line in that opening match, but they're closing the show as well. Majima versus Kiryu for the world title will be our closing match this evening, but there's so much to happen between now and then. So much time to revel in the victory that is love winning once again. That was such a good fucking opening contest. Holy shit. <laughs> I think that I have died and gone to heaven. <laughs> yeah, I mean... 
I, I could, I could, your, your involuntary outbursts at every near fall <laughs> was, was incredible. I, I, I loved it. <laughs> you were, <laughs> this is the, this is like, this is why I love the fact that I do not like pre-record or fix these matches because that yeah. reaction wouldn't happen if those were not genuine surprises. <laughs> What a match. What an opener. And oh, it's only they have they have uh, set the bar for this for this, yeah, they this really evening's have. entertainment. And this next match, I mean Ichiban is used to, to having to perform after Kiryu has set the bar, but now he's having to do it after a match like that. Our yeah. next contest this evening, Bob Belcher has challenged Ichiban for the Twitch Championship. Ichiban has been somewhat of a quiet champ so far, but uh, three men laid their claim on the Twitch title, the Joker, Rue, and Bob Belcher. And out of all of uh, all of that action, Bob was the one that came out on top. I think he might have a chance to take the title off Ichiban. Yeah, I, th I think so too. I mean, they're both very talented wrestlers in their own right. Um... But I, I, part of me just feels like it's the right time. Mm -hmm. I think for, it might be his for time. For some shake-up. Um, um, and, and Bob's been hitting the gym. He's been, he's very clearly been improving under the Springfield Sports Center. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think like you said, it, it might, it might be his time. Um, so, I've got the predictions in. Everyone, everyone get your, everyone get your whiz balls in the right pocket. Something to do with snooker. Uh, let's go down to the ring. I think you mean snooker. <laughs> well done. That was, that was super fly of you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we, get, we came around to the ring too early. Our hype man is still doing his type I five. I won't, I won't subject you to it. This next match is scheduled for one fall and is for... The Wrestling is Silly Twitch Championship. On his way to the ring first, the challenger from a burger restaurant conveniently located on Ocean Avenue, Seymour's Bay, New Jersey, and fighting out of the Springfield Sports Center, weighing in at 256 pounds, Bob Belcher. Coming out all on his own, no support from the Sports Center. Uh, He's coming to prove himself, and I like that. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> Are you giggling about? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it was you, but I just heard this. Ooh. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it just took me. I don't know where it came from. <sighs> And his opponent from Shangri-La, Kamurocho, Tokyo, weighing in at 269 pounds. He is your hero. He is the Twitch champion, Kasuga Ichiban. I've changed my mind. I've decided I'm not ready for him to give it up. He needs to win. <laughs> he's, he's in his summertime fun time garb. Yeah. He's come Sorry, out here to have a good you're time. You're telling me that you want to dethrone that happy little champ? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't want to take it off Wally's him. Wally's having summertime fun time? No. I don't want to take it off him, but Bob Bob might. Bob clearly don't care for summertime fun time, Richie Man. Yeah, well, Bob... Bleh. <laughs> That's what I say. So, it's oh, cutting. Absolutely cutting. Yeah. This is why people tune in for, like, this real highbrow... Yeah. Commentary, like in insult comedy as well. Like Bob there sporting a Springfield Sports Center t shirt. If you would like to join him and sport your own Springfield Sport Sports Center t shirt, exclamation mark Kofi in the chat, get yourself into our Kofi shop. I don't need to see the chat rules, it's my chat. <laughs> no, not not giving me that. Nah. 
Have I broke something? Have I broken something? I think something is very broken. Is Bot Buccaneer working at all? Uh, no. Chat, I think, I think, I think Twitch is having a chat based moment. Ah, I see. Because I can't even connect to the chat it, server. Because I was going to say, I haven't seen Bot Buccaneer at all. And the, and the chat widget isn't showing up on screen either. Yeah, Bot Buccaneer isn't in my viewers list either. So, yeah. Anyway, the bell has rung. Ichiban and Bob squaring up. Bob, the first to make the... To first to get the offense and... Oh! Getting that beautiful Northern Light Suplex onto Ichiban. A strong start from a uh, from a man used... From a man who has been trained to make strong starts. Springfield Spot Center don't fuck around. We know that. And Ichiban, he's kind of all about fucking around. He's just here to have a good time. Somehow his that's landed him a title. But... Either way, it's it's. I mean, whatever whatever he's doing is working for him. Ooh. Did entrance music not play? Yeah, uh, entrance music isn't playing. Uh, again, something is oh. very broken. Right. Yeah, you it, really bought something. I can't connect to the chat line. I don't know why. That's the problem. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both in their casual. They're both in like street fight gear, but this is not a street fight. So they just they they just come here in their casual digs. Yeah. Ichiban, they're returning Bob to the ring as Freya hits that three count. And now... Ooh. Ichiban is, like, actually busy doing something in Hawaii at the minute, but we told him he had to come yeah, and... It, 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 he, had, he had to do a very, <laughs> very brief flight from Hawaii to the UK yeah. Yeah. For, for this match, and then he's going straight back. So yeah, this is yeah, why yeah, he's still yeah. in his summertime fun time gear. Yeah. Bob dodging, dodging the kick and uh, turning that into a kick of his own. That was quite quite an intelligent dodge there. But now he's got Ichiban by the scruff of the neck, guiding him into those ropes. And, oh, uh, hits them with the sleep and goes straight in for the lariat. Beautiful take, beautiful take down there. Bob on top for now. Gut wrench, gut wrench suplex. I'm going to be, this is not. The hot, the hottest boy summer that Ichiban has ever had. No, but a picture perfect German suplex like that might be the shutdown that he needed. I was about to say that would have been like, <laughs> what's the opposite of curse of commentary? Like, <laughs> blessing of commentary. Yeah. And oh, flying four off the springboard. Ichiban stepping into high gear, maybe, maybe finally realizing he needed to try. Maybe maybe he was like, what? This is the hottest boy summer I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> I, How dare you? I am on hot boy summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful frog splash. From Ichiban. And now, oh, meeting the minds there. Mistimed from something. It, Bob, though, with the Irish whip again. Asleep into a beautiful body slam. And just, oh, the point of the elbow right through the afro into, into the skull of, of, uh, Bob Belcher. Bob now Not take, the skull, he needs that. He needs that to think. <laughs> now, Bob, Bob maintaining an interesting, uh, an interesting amount of control over this match. He's got a, got an, a cross armbar onto Ichiban. Ichiban refusing to let it, uh, Bob straighten out that arm. But I don't know. Bob seems to be really shutting down Ichiban and controlling the pace of the match in a way that we've not seen a challenger to the title do before. And ooh, shutting down, shutting down the Irish whip reversal into a lariat, and now. Bob may be queuing up for a burger of the day as Ichiban slowly makes his way to his feet. There it goes, the the uh, the Taz mission, the Juju Katami, the no no the Taz mission, the Red Rum, the burger of the day. Call it what you want. It might be putting the champ to sleep. He's he's you can see he's he's really he's 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 scampering around looking for an opening. He's getting desperate. Oh, just able to throw off that arm though. And another picture perfect German suplex, Bob. 
having to uh, having to go and take a breather. But the flying lariat from Ichiban shuts him down yet again. Oh, duck under another beautiful German suplex. It's very German suplex based offense today. Um, is blue the. That wasn't a German suplex, though. Love a little bit of the Michinoku driver. Anything. Uh, Kiryu, fisherman suplex now. He's showing off. The, Bob's a very sort of suplex kind of guy. And now, I think Ki uh, Ichiban's realized that he needs to He needs to show that he knows more than one. The release German, though, gets the cover. <sighs> Bob, though, just letting him get that two count in. And now just... Hammering down on that knee. And ooh, that stomp, the, the, the stomp might have bust open. Bob there. And the power bomb into the running knee gets the cover. It's still not quite enough, Ichiban. Yeah, I think Ichiban thought that was going to be it. I, th I, I think he thought that he, he, he had it down with that. But there he goes, going for another one. The power bomb into the critical hit knee. Gets the cover. Bob, though, had enough of his wits about him to get that rope break. And that is impressive after you've taken two shots to the head like that. It really is. But now, oh, standing switch. Bob not letting him hit that German. And instead going for, oh, nice inverted suplex there. Gets the cover. Still not enough, though. And now, ooh, beautiful trip. Intercepting the, the, the fist and going for the trip. Beautiful. And now, ooh, another fisherman suplex from Ichiban. Ichiban let, still letting Bob control the pace, but not letting him get the upper hand too much. And another release German suplex, throwing Bob almost halfway across the ring. Ichiban going to the top rope. We don't often see him. We don't often see him get up. Ooh, didn't quite hit the double axe handle. Ooh, Bob again with the sleep into the judo toss. Gets a cover. Still just a two. The champ ain't going down that easy. A Bob. Bringing Ichiban to his feet. You see Bob, Bob's head streaming with blood, but he's still fighting. He's got Ichiban up on the top rope. This is a dangerous position for him. What's he doing? Nor Avalanche Northern Light Suplex. This did feel like an endurance contest, but Bob might have just worn out Ichiban. You see, he's getting ready to serve the burger of the day once more. He gets the grapevines in. Ichiban is struggling. Oh, desperation managing to, to cling on to another. I was going to say, struggling, but not for long. Hot no. down. Oh, misses oh. the line, though. Bob's delivers one of his own. And now Bob's scurrying up to that top rope. We don't see Ichiban up on top, but we see Bob up even less. The, L, the knee collides with the throat of Ichiban. Bob with the cover. Wow. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Here is your winner and new Wrestling is Silly Twitch Champion, Bob Belcher. He earned it, though. You can't say he didn't he, yeah, earn it. Yeah, he did, he did earn it. And he, the Twitch title, I think, is... Uh, needing a refresh. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, you know, as much as I love Ichiban, as a wrestler, I don't know if... I don't know if he's got the attention span to keep a title relevant. I know what you, you mean. What like, mean? Uh, he's... he's, uh, he's... He's, he's getting up to too many side quests and yeah when when that's happening you cannot be you know looking for you cannot be like looking for things to do while you're also a champion i think yeah. ichiban maybe split his attention a little bit too much with yeah. still trying to establish himself as a as a real 
as a real uh, sticking point in wrestling is silly. I think he might have gotten the title a little bit too early, but yeah, he did hold maybe. on to it for a while. Um, but now we've now we're entering the era of Bob Belcher. I'm going to be very interested to see what he what he does with this title. Um, yeah. I still can't connect to the chat servers, but nothing is saying it's down. Um, I'm I'm annoyed. I can still see it. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I can see chat, but like none of like the the chat based things are happening, which is annoying. Uh, like entrances and like chat on screen and things. It's irritating. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but the longer you complain about it, the longer it's going to take to fix. So that's true. That's just true. ignore it. Pretend <laughs> it's not happening. It's fine, and it'll come back eventually. It it will come back eventually. But yeah, he uh, he may he may have earned the title, but he hasn't earned my heart. Yeah, Bob. I don't think Bob is out to earn the hearts and minds of the wrestling silly audience. I just think he wants he wants to to be champ. Um, yeah, he wanted some gold. Yeah, he doesn't care about being your favorite champion. He wants he's 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 here to be a champion yeah. um i'm gonna be very interested to see what bob does with the title because we've had some quite strong twitch championship reigns uh in the in in the in the lineage of the title um yeah but there's never i don't think there's ever been an out and out bad guy champ and bob in that match he was not a good guy <laughs> no so uh, it's uh, maybe maybe he's a he's a bit of a Millwall guy. Everyone hates me and I don't care. Maybe maybe he's going to lean into that. Everyone hates me and I don't care attitude. Um, maybe we'll see primo Bob Belcher. Um, hmm. Only time will tell. Uh, our next match this evening is the culmination of a few things all happening at once. Um, for a while, uh, Donkey Kong had called out both Bowser Jr. and Diddy Kong, the cool kids, um, saying that he wanted a, a uh, tornado tag match with a, a mystery partner that he hasn't, uh, that he that he had never actually revealed. Then both Bowser Jr. and Donkey Kong got enveloped in the blind tag tournament. They didn't plan that very well um, because they made their they made they staked their claim just as the blind tag was being drawn, and you can never trust that because they both they all ended up in teams. So yeah, of course. It's taken a little bit of time to get to this point, but our next match this evening, another tag team match. The cool kids, Donkey Kong and Bowser Jr. versus, uh, sorry, Diddy Kong and Bowser Jr. versus, um, versus Donkey Kong and a mystery partner. Um, obviously, we cannot really predict, we cannot accurately predict who's going to win because we don't know who the mystery partner is, but... Bowser Jr. and Diddy Kong are both kinda on the up and up right now. Um, Donkey Kong, though, I think he's a very hard guy to take down. The only the only time he's had a, a a real loss recently was losing to the Fight Boy Friends in the Blind Tag Tournament. But yeah, I mean, the problem with this match, I think, rega regardless of who Donkey Kong has got, this match is old man yells at children, and even if he wins. Does he really win? Yeah, he's he's kind of just you know getting I mean? mad at, at, a, at a couple of kids. Yeah, and it's... Oh, um, yeah, I mean, it, they'll probably win because they're going to beat <laughs> up children. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they are... They Like, Donkey Kong is more... Um, Donkey Kong is more experienced than both Diddy Kong and Bowser Jr. And yeah. uh, the, the like, chances are the mystery partner is as well because both of these men are both of these men are quite new to the, to wrestling. So I kind of feel bad for the cool kids, but if they can get the win, that really puts them. I on, mean, they, on they've good they've footing. pulled some uh, they've pulled some surprise wins out of the bag. So like they are capable. It's just like. Donkey Kong is a pretty hard guy to take down, regardless of the size of competitor. So to like pick arguments with kids, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just showing your ass here a bit. Uh, shall we? Shall we? Shall we find out who the mystery partner is? Yeah, yeah. Let's go and find out who he's showing his ass with. <laughs> who is showing his ass with? This next match is scheduled for one fall and is a tornado tag team match. On his way to the ring first, Bowser. Well, couldn't even wait for Donkey Kong to come out first. 
I mean, I'm going to be honest, I can't say I'm surprised. I, I don't know anybody else in the locker room that even wants to give Donkey Kong time of day, so... I did see Donkey Kong talking to a few people. Um, I could see Donkey Kong... I saw Donkey Kong talking to a few people. Uh, but... A lot of people yeah, shutting him down Yeah, that doesn't mean the they room. talk back. Yeah, like a lot of people shutting him down. Um, I did hear him say, though, Does Bowser, Bowser wasn't his first surgery choice. Scars? Hmm? Does Bowser have top surgery scars? I mean, we, we saw him in the ladder match, so... That is true, that is true. <laughs> but apparently Bowser wasn't his first choice, which is interesting to hear. Yeah, that is interesting to hear. And his partner from Congo Jungle, weighing in at 562 pounds, Donkey Kong. Bowser coming out to very little fanfare. DK, you know, doing his doing his thing, bringing his pyro. Um, I th <laughs> the more I the more I see these two come out, the more I think DK might be regretting his choice to bring Bowser. Yeah. But again, if, if Bowser wasn't his first choice and was kind of just an emergency, then who's who's to say? DK DK coming out with his with his usual vim and vigor. And awkwardly looking over his shoulder like he's a little bit scared maybe he doesn't really trust bowser would you and uh, no and their opponents diddy kong bowser jr the cool kids we've not seen this team in a while and i'm and i'm glad they're now a uh, well I was about to say they're free to be their own thing. They're not quite free to be their own thing just yet. I think this is their last hurdle before they can, you know, throw away the shackles of, of the big men that hate them and just, mm. you know, be, be cool kids. Valerie pointing out in the chat that showing their ass is how gorillas flirt. Uh, it is, is, is... Is that is that where this is? <laughs> you said you said Donkey Kong was gonna show his ass. Is is that is that him flirting? Yeah, with, maybe. with Bowser perhaps. Both teams are now in the ring, ready to go. This is very much. Uh, two two teams of two very different styles. Bowser, Bowser Jr. making making a move on Donkey Kong. Not not how I expected that to go. But Bowser instantly going for the abdominal stretch on Diddy Kong. Not his usual fighting style. Donkey Kong up on uh, Bowser Jr. up on the shoulders of Donkey Kong, but, Don but Bowser Jr. fighting back. Poison Rana off the springboard from Bowser Jr. Incredible. Now Bowser, Bowser though hitting the huge lariat on to Diddy Kong and then just slapping his son around the head. C come on. And again, come on, dude. This is just, this is just rude now. That's three times and Bowser Jr. ain't standing for a fourth. He's going up for the sunset flip power bomb, getting just a one count as Diddy Kong takes down a Donkey Kong. And, ooh, Donkey Kong just batting away all oncomers there. Refusing to lock up with either Diddy or Bowser on their terms. Proper psycho drama stuff. Definitely between Bowser and Bowser Jr. Uh, I think Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are uh, 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 uncle and nephew, but there's still still a lot of familial problems going on. Ooh, beautiful arm drag there from Diddy Kong. And now a chop block taking out Donkey. This really is uh, the future is now old man if the cool kids can pull through. 
Bowser Jr. almost tripping over uh, Donkey Kong there and hitting a two-handed choke slam on Diddy Kong. But Bowser Jr. a big right hand, a big sort of right hand taking down Bowser. Diddy Kong though with that beautiful wrist control as Donkey Kong just throws Bowser Jr. yeets him across the ring. Did he? Oh, Bowser avoiding the tope, but not the double axe from Diddy Kong. Nice bit of teamwork there from the smaller team. But, oh, I Northern. mean, teamwork is all they've got going for them, so they're going to need to utilize it. True. Bowser Jr., though, using his speed and his agility to get out of that choke slam into the arm drag. Very, very quick on quick thinking there from Bowser Jr. Yeah, they've got teamwork. They've also got speed on their side. If they can make the most out of both of those, they might have a chance in this match. Super kick takes down DK. Cover. <sighs> Just a two count. Now, I thought that was going to be an early finish for Donkey Kong. And now, oh. Bowser Jr. With Hot the damn. Delfino driver managing to lift the 500 pound Donkey Kong. Gets the cover. But Bowser just in the nick of time able to break up the pen. And now hitting a choke slam on his own son, Bowser. This is another level of evil. And now he's he's get, getting ready for something. And now he's got Bowser Jr. up on his shoulders. Is he gonna hit the Bowser's Fury as Donkey Kong gets a cover on Diddy? Bowser with a cover. Bowser Jr. They were able to kick out just in the nick of time after taking the Bowser's Fury. That is a move that has put away many, many men over their time. And now, oh, Diddy Kong hitting Donkey with a beautiful combination. Of, uh, I think he calls that the Peanuts Pop Gun. And now Bowser, it's back to Bowser and Junior. Hit big hip toss takes down Junior. Diddy Kong just about shaking himself to life. Discus forearm busting open Bowser Jr. And now, ooh, DK grabbing the nerve in the shoulder of Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. fighting through his best he can, getting up to his feet and breaking the hold with a well placed fist. Northern Light Suplex is all over the shot from Bowser onto Donkey Kong. Bowser Jr. heading to the top rope. This is a bad place for a 500 pound dinosaur king. But on the outside, ripcord Spanish fly from Bowser Jr. On the outside, that may keep ba Don Kyung down for a while. Hits the standing shooting star press. But Bowser, Bowser here to break up the fun. Big back body drop. And now, oh, Lariat taking down Diddy. Bowser Jr. thrown into the barricades. The team, the, the 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 dad squad, as they've been christened in the chat, are firmly in control right now. Diddy Kong trying to run to the corner, but couldn't quite make it in time. Hits the neckbreaker though, and the chop block turns DK inside out. DK, oh, uh, big enough to just throw it down. Diddy Kong hit him with that big boot. Bowser Jr. back on his feet though. Oh, Bowser again, not taking his son seriously. Just a little slap on the head as the big gorilla press takes out Diddy. It looks like size and strength is winning the day today, but can they get the three count? Big vertical suplex. Bowser and Junior both make the way outside. Bowser lands on his feet, though. And now, oh, well-placed forearm taking Diddy down. And the... Ooh, all of that weight just onto the shoulders and the back of Diddy Kong. Uppercut from Diddy Kong gets an overhand for just a moment. Can he capitalize? No, Lariat avoided by Donkey Kong. And, oh, flatlining, flattening Diddy Kong. Bowser Jr., he ain't looking so great, is he? He is not. Ooh, nasty, nasty headbutt there from Donkey Kong. Bowser making his way to the top rope. Are we gonna see are we gonna see Flying Cooper? No, we're not. Because Bowser Jr. making his way back into the ring. Well placed. 
Oh, Manhattan drop. Come on, that's a way to ensure you don't get grandkids, Bowser. And Donkey Kong locking in the jungle vine. Can Bowser Jr. bust his way out? With the help of Diddy Kong, he does get does get free. And beautiful drop kick to make a little bit of space. Oh, a little bit of a miscommunication there from the cool kids, perhaps. Bowser taking advantage. Pop up Pork and Rana, though. And Donkey Kong really knows how to shut down. No, Bowser Jr. crawling down Donkey Kong, hitting the sunset flip. That could have been a very, very messy finish for Donkey Kong. But Bowser, Delfino driver from Bowser Jr. And now both both the cool kids circling Bowser. And low drop kick right to the side of the head. I think Bowser maybe bust open armbar attempt from Diddy Kong, but he can't quite get the arm fully flattened. Donkey Kong, big suplex. It's a long way down to be suplexed by a man like Donkey Kong. It really is. He's what seven, eight foot. He's like seven feet tall. So you go, you go seven feet up and seven feet back down, careening into the map. Bowser Jr. having to take a breather, and now the cool kids having to alternate who takes the beatings. This is not a good place for them. Bowser gets the cover. <sighs> Bowser Jr. kicking out at two though. And now Diddy Kong back in the fray manages to get a waist lock and a Russian leg sweep onto Donkey Kong. But Bowser still just driving the fist into the head of his son. But no, he's looking to hit the Bowser's fury on Diddy Kong this time. And oh, there it is. But Bowser Jr. could not be, be held down by, Diddy, by Donkey Kong. Sorry. There's a lot of similar names in this match. The commentary is very difficult. There really is. Bowser with the cover. Diddy, the Diddy with the kick out though. And there's the uh, bicycle knee from, from Bowser Jr. And the standing shooting star press as Diddy Kong with the wrist control. But Bowser Jr. just powering through any attempt at technicality and hitting the choke slam. So that's the thing, when they're, when they're this big, they only really fall for the technical wrestling for so long before they can just muscle their way out of it. Bowser now, he's, he's, he's going for his second Bowser's Fury onto Diddy Kong. He's up and down, driven into the mat. Donkey Kong though, Donkey Kong going for something that wasn't a pin and gave Diddy Kong the opening to get back to his feet. Maybe a miscommunication between the, between the two larger men. Super kick into a cover from Bowser Jr. <laughs> Tried to get a little sneaky in there. A little sneaky, yeah. Sometimes a little sneaky is all you need. Into a second Delfino driver onto his dad, though. And now going for the cover on to Bowser. DK nowhere to be seen. But still just a two. That big, that, that Cooper King has faced so much, so much onslaught today. And a tope suicida just as he was getting back to his feet. And, oh... Beautiful show of strength there by Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong having to drag himself up by the ropes. Low super kick. No! But Diddy Kong playing possum there. Luring Donkey Kong in. And now, oh, Bowser colliding with the steel barricade. Straight into a jawbreaker. Peanuts pop gun there from Diddy Kong. Really wrenching at the wrist, the hand, the fingers of Donkey. Gets the cover. Donkey Kong, though, very limmy. He's very limmy, and I don't mean the Scottish comedian. He's able to get that rope break from a long way away. I was right by the rope. I'm aware, but it's just I'm just trying to trying to give him his credit. But into the sort of fa face bust, spinning face buster. I don't know why it was beautiful though. Still only a two count though. Donkey Kong does not look like he's got much power left. He needs another. I think he needs another banana or two to get back in the game but there ain't no bananas in mid-match cool kids very much have control of the situation right now i think What's it was a I think, I think it was a stamina based game if if the cool kids could outlast 
the, the the bigger men's onslaught than it was it was basically fighting a war of attrition I mean I can't imagine I mean if I were Donkey Kong or Bowser would you have trained seriously for this match no I don't think they're taking this match very seriously at all but they're, they're, they're also just not two, two wrestlers that aren't known for their stamina in the first place so if they're not taking the match very seriously they're not taking their opponents very seriously Cool Kid's able to get a surprise attack and just sort of again just outlast the poor stamina standing Spanish fly from Bowser Jr really putting his dad to task but Bowser gets the gets a lucky knee and manages to regain control of the situation Bowser and DK, once known, two men once known as the Dangerous Alliance, back together in control once again. No, but the gut wrench got rolled free by Bowser Jr. Oh, DK colliding with the ring post, though. This match has very much gone off the rails. Diddy Kong, the return to the ring by Donkey. Is Donkey looking to end it? Maybe not. He's turned his attention to Bowser Jr. But showboating a little bit too long. Oh. Did he returning out to help his friend? Oh. Bowser Jr. being thrown onto his father there. But a, but a slick little trip up takes DK out for just a moment. The dad squad don't really seem to affect the cool kids much. Yeah. The, 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 the cool kids got a lot more stamina. They can bounce back from the, the big moves a lot better than uh, the dad squad can. Diddy though, looking to looking to rescue Bowser Jr. from the onslaught of Bowser, hitting the backbreaker just to take him out for a moment. Backbreaker with a guy with a big shell. Not probably not the wisest move, Diddy Kong, but it got the job done. Oh, big back elbow. And now the iron claw from Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong looking to crush the face of Diddy Kong and he can't tap out because he's on the outside. This is just trying to wear him down. And now Bowser really stretching the abdominals, stretching the entire side of Bowser Jr. Again, no tap outs on the outside though. So he's just trying to damage his son. Maybe trying to take years off his career. And DK again returning Diddy to the ring. Bowser, Bowser Jr. able to muscle out of Bowser's abdominal stretch. Hit a hip toss. But now he's sandwiched between the dad squad hits the hits the trip on to dk but the northern light suplex from bowser jr takes him down it's very much a a game of separate the two and then just gang up on one but when you're doing it outside you can't really make meaningful advances in the match because you can't pin you can't submit mm -hmm. and now Bowser, Bowser, fall away slam onto Bowser Jr. Spanish commentary, I told you, you shouldn't go back there, but you, they never take my advice. Bowser Jr. returned to the ring by Bowser. Bowser now turning his attention to Diddy Kong. Again, separation and just, again, maybe just disciplining the smaller, the smaller wrestlers. Le teaching them some respect or something. But now Bowser Jr. is... At the mercy of both men on the inside, I thought Diddy Kong was. I thought Donkey was going for the Jungle Vine, but Bowser Jr. Is somehow able to fight free. But he's now stuck into Bowser's fury once again, driven down to the mat. This could be the end for Bowser Jr. He's got the cover. Diddy Kong though breaking up the action. And oh, going for the choke slam now, Bowser. Again, trying to keep Bowser Jr. down, but the big Lucha Libre arm drag there from Diddy Kong, putting a little bit of space between father and son for just a moment. Diddy Kong, not sure what he wants to do, just maybe trying to invigorate Bowser Jr., getting him up to his feet, but into the waiting arms of Donkey Kong, who I think was attempting a jungle vine there, but Bowser Jr. one step ahead. Delfino driver out of nowhere, but the electric chair drop on Diddy. Bowser interrupting the sharp claws driven down the spine of Bowser Jr. And the two-handed choke slam shutting down the offense for Bowser Jr. Oh, that was the closest near fall yet. Diddy Kong had Bowser Jr.'s back though. And he gets the wrist control. Once again, the peanuts pop gun. But 
Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong eagerly awaiting. Ooh. Busting the spine of Diddy wide open. And now Donkey Kong is in control. Bowser's flat on his back. Diddy Kong barely conscious. Bowser Jr. gliding across the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice that. This is the last, this is maybe the last chance for the cool kids, but si almost simultaneously driven into different parts of the ring. And now Bowser just choking Bowser Jr. Come on, come on. You, you got a five count. Oh. Did it, did DK hitting, the, hitting that forearm, that's usually how it goes into the jungle vine. But Bowser shut him down that time. I don't know, I don't know if that was a miscommunication or just Bowser thought he had a better idea than Donkey Kong, but he could have won that with the jungle vine. DK mistiming the... Oh, I was not watching at all, but Bowser Jr. tapped out. A camel wow, clutch yeah. from Bowser making Bowser Jr. tap out. Here are your winners, Bowser and Donkey Kong. That was a really unexpected finish by these two men, but they I wanted... felt like I took my eyes off them for two seconds. Yeah, they wanted they, they wanted to assert their dominance, and that is what they did. I don't. I... This doesn't feel very nice, crowning those two the winners. That wasn't the ending anybody wanted to that match. That was, we wanted to see, we wanted to see the cool kids triumph. We wanted to see good things happen to a new yeah. upstart team. But alas, sometimes old men cannot let the new young lions thrive. That is, that is against the spirit of wrestling is silly, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Like DK and Bowser, they're a little bit past it, I gotta say. They've had their time. They've they've tried their best. They they have they're granted they've been they've been all like Bowser's been a day one. -er. Bowser Bowser and DK yeah. were a tag team for a while, but sometimes you just gotta step aside and let the younger guys go. Um it's, I actually think they'd get more popular if they let the newer, more popular talent just beat them, have get their over. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, people people talk about the icons and legends, um, and they talk about them. Like if, if if an icon, if a legend loses to somebody, if they put somebody over, that is a star making performance, and they just will not let anybody. They, they, well, they will not let Diddy Kong or Bowser Jr. become stars, and it's 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 mean. It's it's bad. I don't like it. <laughs> it's very mean spirited. Like uh, it's yeah. It's um. I'm sorry. I've just I've just I've just received word. Something is happening. Um, backstage. We're gonna go to a backstage camera now. Um. No, that's the wrong camera. Uh, Alice Little has sort of thrown uh, the women's world champion uh, Amanda the Wee Fit Trainer into the ring to try and. Obviously, um, last week you might have missed the the, the Wii Fit trainer uh, announced that there would be no women's uh, women's title defense at Love Wins because she didn't think anybody was worthy. And Alice, clearly not taking that too well, the Wii Fit trainer has managed to um, stop the onslaught a little bit. But Alice, obviously, uh, very attached to the women's vision. Alice, the first ever woman to win a win a match in wrestling, is silly. She takes the women's division very seriously. So to have someone like the Wii Fit trainer go, no, there will be no women's representation on this card. I think I, I think she took that personally. And clearly mm -hmm. she's mad. Clearly she's upset at this. Um, and, and Amanda maybe should probably reconsider her position of, you know, not defending the belt. But uh, maybe, although on the other hand, maybe she's completely... Maybe room. she's completely right and yeah. is going to win this match. Yeah, maybe she's maybe she is uh she's gone for she's gone she's gone for the baseball bat, but then decided maybe she didn't need it. Alice going Alice obviously this is this is not a sanctioned match. This is just an argument that has fallen out into into the ring, so this is completely unsanctioned. We fit trainer even now though, not opting to use the weapons, going for well uh, until obviously I'm <laughs> until I make a thing of it, clearly cracking Alice over the head with that baseball bat that she introduced into this just brawl, this fight. But Alice, I can see why Alice is mad, obviously. Like, 
she wants the women's division to be represented yeah. on shows like this. And she has, by hook or by crook, forced a women's match, I suppose. But... And now, now maybe showing off some athleticism, showing we Fit Trainer that she can wrestle. Perhaps, perhaps she's got her eye on the title, but this isn't the way to get it. It's it's very clear. Like since since that promo that uh, that Amanda cut last week, it has been very clear that 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 the women's division locker room is not happy with this. That there is there is that the, the mood in the locker room after that promo has been the morale is morale is at an all time low since Amanda's like, yeah, made that announcement. I, I feel like the, the vibes must be dire. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Alice going for the crossbody. Amanda, though, expertly dodging and just, again, going for the kendo stick. Amanda's, Amanda's not worried about getting her hands dirty, dealing with what she considers the riffraff, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the mood in the women's locker room is dire. They they do not want the women's title to be held hostage by by Amanda, and that's what they consider her doing. If she's refusing to defend, she's taking the belt hostage. Yeah, and, and I I can't say I uh, I can't say I disagree with that assessment either. Yeah, um, we're gonna have to do some thinking about this if because we we can't have just fights spilling out of the locker room like this. We're gonna have to put our heads together and do something about this whole this whole situation, mm -hmm. um, because. Again, she's she's got the belt. We can't force her to defend it. We can't force her to fight. Um, but if this is what's going to happen, I mean, happen... we we can't we can't force her to fight. But neither can we allow her to sit on the no. Uh, no, she's 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 contracted belt, to so... wrestle. She can't not wrestle. Oh, and now getting all of the toys that that maybe Alice left there out in maybe some form of revenge for for. You know, maybe forcing her to work at the pay-per-view, but whatever's happening, she is... Amanda's not happy, Alice isn't happy, nobody's happy right now. I'm not happy, this wasn't scheduled. Zach's not happy because we cut his bantering short and now these guys are wasting time. Yeah, what the hell? <sighs> yeah, we, we, we've, we've got to do something. Um, oh... I don't want. I don't want to compliment the, the the fine wrestling in this in this brawl, but that was a lovely kitchen sink. Hmm. And and yeah, I, I'm. If I knew that Amanda would do this with the belt and do this with the entire locker room, I I would have been I would have been more hesitant to put her in the title picture. But you mm -hmm. can't deny her ability. Like even when she's taken by surprise like this, she still she still got the upper hand over Alice. Yeah. Alice probably had this it's all planned out and now and now look at her having to drag herself up by the ropes as as just we fit trainer takes her to town. And oh now <sighs> See we fit trainer barely even broken a sweat and again she she just happened to be in a training gear cuz I think I think those are the only clothes she owns. Yeah, Amanda absorbed all of all of Alice's early offense to just to just do, just dominate, and and she, like she's dominating Alice, like she's dominating the whole women's division. I part of me appreciates having a, a real dominant champ like this, but then not if she ain't gonna, not if she refuses to defend. But Alice, Alice, getting back up now, trying her best to to make the point, drive home the point that she wanted to drive home and and make Amanda know that the, 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 the locker room doesn't like what she's doing. Again, the fight spills to the outside. We Fit Trainer a little bit dazed right now. Alice giving, Alice, weirdly enough, giving her a moment to get back to, get back to focus, which maybe in hindsight was a bad decision. And we fit trainer with a dragon screw maintaining control to just drive the foot the leg of alice into the into the ground and alice returned to the ring now we fit trainer even though this isn't a sanction match we fit trainer doing it all in the ring even if she's getting fifty thousand things to hit alice over the head with i appreciate her her you know fondness for for finishing it in the ring especially after the match we just saw where so much of that was outside of the ring 
This match that should have been outside of the ring is in the ring. Wild how this all falls out. Ooh, reverse X Factor there. Alice may be thinking she's going to have to wrestle her way out of this, which is not the plan she went in with. Big right hand takes down the, the, the champ, though. Oh, going for the sledgehammer, but uh, Amanda getting to roll out of the way. Goes for, a, goes for a shoulder barge, but could not. Couldn't take her down. Alice sending Wee Fit Trainer down the rabbit hole, but again, this ain't a sanctioned match. This, this ain't no pinfall victory. Alice, though, oh... We fit trainer knocked out by those repeated uh, knees to the face. And here is your winner, I suppose. Alice Little of a match that wasn't supposed to happen. And I think that's that. Well, is damn. Put, well, damn. Well, damn, indeed. That is put. That is put. I was about to say that has put the whole locker room on notice. But no, that has put the champ on notice against yeah. the whole ass locker room. Yeah. What a way to end the first half of the show. I was about ready to go to break, but then, you know, oh, women were arguing loudly. Um, mm -hmm. What a first half of the show, though. We've already seen two title changes. Uh, more and more title matches down the line. We're going to announce our, we're going to win a crown our women's smiley case champ uh, after the break as well. So please do not go anywhere. We'll be back in three minutes time. So go empty your bladders, refill your glasses. But in the meantime, I've got one question for you. And that is, who is that Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon?
wrestling is silly love wins the loveliest the gayest show on twitch we have already had two title changes here in our uh, valentine's day special and we are just about to do yet another title match as it is love wins we decided the mixed tag championship should most likely be on the line and we have two teams uh, ready to fight for it. The current reigning and defending uh, Wrestling Silly Mix Tag Champions, New Donk's Finest, the team of Mr. M and Mayor Pauline, against Super Wonder, making their tag team debut, Superman and Wonder Woman. Now, of course, uh, hearing that one team is making their debut and the other is uh, champs, this might seem like a one-sided match, but Superman and Wonder Woman they are both two very, very strong competitors. Wonder Woman, uh, the, the wrestling silly hardcore champion. Superman, the first ever inaugural um, wrestling silly men's world champion. There's a lot of strength in that team. So I don't think this is going to be a one and done for New Donk's Finest. They could face some real, real challenge here. Um, do you have any thoughts before we get out of the ring? No, I think we should let them... Uh... Speak for themselves. Let's let's get answering. the ring. Let's let them speak for themselves. This next match is a mixed tag match for the Wrestling is Silly Mixed Tag cha uh, Team Championship. On their way to the ring, first the champions from New Donk City, Mr. M, Mayor Pauline, New Donks. Finest! It's not usual that the champs come out first, but if anyone was going to buck that trend, it was going to be fucking New Dunk's Finest. And you can tell how seriously Pauline is taking this match, because she doesn't even have her suit on. She thinks she can win this in a dress. I mean... She's won many, many matches in a dress, so I don't think I would write her off for that. I mean, true, true. You, you, you are, of course, correct. She fought in the dress for a long time before she got the before she got the mayoral pantsuit out. But it feels like now that she's got that, to go back to the dress feels like she's not taking a match seriously. Or maybe it's just me. And their opponents making their Wrestling is Silly Mixed Tag debut. The Wrestling is Silly Hardcore Champion Wonder Woman and Superman Super Wonder. You know, I was just going to call them the Justice League. But uh, apparently Super Wonder is the, the ship name for these two superheroes. So when I, oh, once I, I, when I learned that, I had to use it. Mm -hmm. um, because that is a that is a silly ship names are silly in general, and I quite like how I like when they go silly. Mm -hmm. I don't like just mashing the names together is one thing, but like you know, have fun with it. Yeah. The bell has rung for our mixed tag team championship for the first ever time. The mixed tag championship has been defended. Fall away slam from Superman as Superman and Mr. M open the match. Of course, mixed tag rules. If either participant makes a tag, both legal, both legal combatants switch. So if Mr. M tags in Pauline, um, Wonder Woman becomes the legal woman as, as Pauline becomes the legal woman as well. Um, not the way I would like to do it. I would just like full on intergender matches, but that is unfortunately the way the system works. Yeah. Mr. M, though, standing superstar press, gets an early cover on two soups. Soups, though, with just a one count, pushing uh, pushing Mr. M off. And now, we've debated for a long time if Superman is trying to uh, become a good guy again. And if there's one way, if there's one way to try and get a little bit of a face turn going on, it is to beat up Mr. M. Um, that's that is a, true. It's a good way to get people on side. And now Pauline really putting the boots to Wonder Woman. Rope assisted power bomb, but not going for the cover. And that's stomping those high heels onto the boots of Wonder Woman. Again, getting a quick tag. The men now both legal again. Ooh, 
undercutting that lariat, Mr. M ducking and going for the double leg takedown. But I think Soups was back up to his feet quicker than Mr. M suspected. This is a bad time for Mr. M to be showboating because eating a snake eyes. And then maybe the reverse is going to happen. Yes, it is. Shotgun dropkick takes down a showboating Superman. And a release German throws him into the donk, the donk corner. Oh, but there's the, the step up. Enziguri from a recovering Superman. Goes and gets a tag. Wonder Woman and Pauline now both legal. And now Wonder Woman throwing Pauline into the ropes, hitting a textbook dropkick. And now, again, last week these two, last week these two fought for Wonder Woman's hardcore title, and now they're fighting for Pauline's mixed tag title. There's a lot of animosity between these two women, and I don't think this is going to be the end of it. Because if uh, uh, Pauline failed to get uh, Wonder Woman's belt, so if Wonder Woman can get Pauline's, that they are like. Ooh, Pauline ain't going, ain't going to be happy with that at all. Beautiful DDT, though, from the mayor. But there's the boot up from Wonder Woman, able to get, uh, get a bit of distance, get the tag. Mr. M, eager to get back in the ring. Ooh, blocking the lariat and getting, uh, getting one over on Superman, throwing him into the corner. And now just wrenching, wrenching at the arm around those ropes. And I say ropes, they are just steel cables wrapped in tape. So they're a lot harder than they sound. And a well-placed boot to the thigh. And the half and half driving the head of Superman into the mat. Quick tags from both teams. Women now legal once again. Again, these, these quick tags, that's how you keep everyone fresh. Make sure everyone, make sure nobody is like having to play the endurance match. But there's the flying line taking down Wonder Woman. And the double leg into, oh, I think she, she's, going, she's going for the, the walls of, of, of Pauline. <laughs> A deep, deep Boston Crab. She is sat tight, wrenching back at the legs and the back. But uh, Wonder Woman able to, oh, able to reverse it into a pin. That's a very unique reversal of the walls. I've not seen that happen before. Wonder Woman now just keeping okay, Pauline qu quite literally under a boot. Making a quick tag, Mr. M. Superman back one on one. Flying line hits hits this time. And our Superman bouncing off, going for the splash, but nobody home. Oh, single, single butterfly gets the suplex. And now Mr. M in control of Superman, who is the, the larger man. Butterfly suplex. Butterfly suplex, double unhook, German suplex. I don't know. Whatever it was, there was no way for Superman to break his fall there. And oh, follow away slam avoided by Mr. M. Waist lock into the German. And the... Roundhouse kick takes the Man of Steel down, but he bounces right back up. Tiger Faint into, ooh, again, Mr. M shutting him down. Mr. M used to rebuffing all that flippy shit with his rivalry with, uh, with Luigi, obviously, but nothing can prepare you for a release suplex like that or a discus punch. Wasn't even a forearm, that was a discus right hand. And now into the power bomb, and down he goes. Yeah, Superman is looking a little bit hesitant. Again, I think he's still in, he's still having this sort of personality crisis where he doesn't quite know what he what he wants or or what he wants to be. But either way, Superman and Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder Woman come for the rescue, but it could not land. New Donk's finest now hitting stereo super kicks on Super Wonder, or should they be Wonder kicks? Pauline gets a cover. Wonder Woman able to kick out at two, though, but it did not look like a confident kick out. Wonder Woman up to her feet. Nope. Getting the blocks up. Double, double, guess, double. Uh, so, guessing again what she wanted to do and hitting the electric chair face buster. That is, that usually signals the beginning of the end for whoever's sharing a ring with Wonder Woman. Big, big boot there. Gets the cover. See, interesting that Mr. M came in, but did not act to break up the pin. 
I don't know if that is just selfishness on Mr. M's side, if he's scared of Wonder Woman, or or if he just trusted that Pauline would break it, break the pin on her own. I mean, to be honest, Pauline is one of our, I would say, strongest fighters. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think it's probably Faith that she was going to break it up herself. You're probably right. I mean... Uh, he knows, like like you said, Pauline, not even in the women's division, in wrestling and in general, she may be one of the most tenacious fighters. Um, yeah, I would say so. To be honest, she is a better wrestler than he is. So yes. maybe he was like, she really doesn't need my help. <laughs> She'd probably be mad if I did help. But Pauline, they're rebuffing every attempt to at offense that, that Wonder Woman has. And going for the neckbreaker, but Wonder Woman able to reverse into a sit-out neckbreaker of her own. Wonder Woman now taking control, throwing Pauline into the barricade. I don't care how strong you are, hitting the barricade fucking hurts. Up to a seven count now. Pauline roll, rolling back in. Paul, uh, sorry, Wonder Woman rolling back in. Pauline on far less, far less uh, strong footing, but she gets the roundhouse kick and makes a much needed tag so she can have a well earned rest. Soups and Mr. M locking horns. Mr. M getting the upper hand. Wastelock into the double underhooks. Double underhook German <laughs> keeps the bridge. Just a one count, though. That is that is a very cocky way to try and get a pin. But a varying character for a man like Mr. M. Goes with the flying kick. Soups, though, having to hold himself up in the corner. And now Superman bouncing back up. What he does best. Perfectly placed spine buster. Gets a cover. Just a two count as Wonder Woman walks right in front of the fucking camera. Soup's having to get a tag. I think Mr. M would have done it if he if he had the chance as well. He was neither man was on steady footing there. I think uh, as with most of our mixed tags, the women are really holding up both teams at this point. Yeah. Pauline covers. That has a tendency of happening, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, our women's division is the best women's division in the world, and I say that with no hesitation. So. <laughs> It happened all the way through the mixed tag tournament. The women are the women are the ones having the real match here. And now, oh, short arm shoulder barge takes down Pauline. And Paul, again, Pauline is tenacious, but she's smaller and uh, she's smaller and has less reach than Wonder Woman. And that means Wonder Woman can get the opportunities like this and hit the electric chair face buster once again. Is she going to go for the cover? No, she's got something else in her bag. What is she What is she going for this time? She's got a big, deep bag of tricks. Has Wonder Woman. She's up on the back. Into the GTH. Gets the cover. Just a two, though. Mr. M comes in, but comes in to try and maybe antagonize Superman. Not to try and break up any kind of pin. And as Pauline just gets her whole upper body kicked into the ground by Wonder Woman. Ooh, Larry attempt. Pauline gets in the way. Into a fisherman suplex by Mr. M. Go I think he was trying to go for the pin there, but couldn't quite keep a hold on Superman. Uh, Azel, welcome to Wrestling A Silly Love Wins. We are in the middle of the Mixed Tag Tournament ch title defense. Uh, Nudonk's Finest versus Super Wonder. Mr. M in control right now, dragging Superman maybe away from the ropes. Maybe he's trying to get some sort of pin in. No. Burn too much daylight. Superman able to get back up to his feet. But flying armbar from from, uh, from Mr. M into the Jujikatami ends that pretty quickly. And that is that is his that is his uh taking flight arm. So maybe trying to neutralize the, the brand new finisher for Superman. Mr. M though gets the tag. And the two women lock horns. Pauline able to get the upper hand. Drags Wonder Woman over to the corner. And I think she's going. She's got the headlock. The Mayor Rampage bouncing off that top rope. Slamming Wonder Woman face first into the ground. Gets the cover. <sighs> it's just a two. The hardcore champ able to, able to maintain another lifeline in this match. She has to roll out to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a break, but but Pauline. Hot. It feels like every fight we've had this pay per view has been a bit of a war. 
Oh yeah, the, these everyone, nobody wants to admit defeat tonight. Um, everyone is putting on their, everyone's putting on their big boy pants and bringing their A game, and I love that. Pauline though, oh, series of boots to the chest of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman though, bouncing straight back up, throwing Pauline back into the ring. She's done playing, she's done playing around on the outside. Wonder Woman wants to finish this. She drags Pauline over to Super Wonder's corner. And Pauline, though, rebuffing any attempt at corner-based offense, goes for the DDT, but Wonder Woman managing to, managing to break free. Not able to land a hit, though. And big bulldog there from Pauline gets a cover. Superman a little bit late to make that make that break up there. Luckily, Wonder Woman came to her senses in the nick of time. Hag okay, there. I don't want to be that guy, but is it just me or is Superman radiating some changeling energy? Like just not quite with it, not really himself. He bit is strange. I kind of get what you mean. He's a little bit. He's a little bit. Uh... Not, he's very much not himself. He's very, he's, he's not the Superman that we know. But again, yeah. I don't know if that's an identity crisis or if maybe this isn't actually Superman. Maybe you're right. We're gonna have to do some investigating. But Pauline has Wonder Woman by the neck. The headlock is in. There she goes off the top rope. Maya rampage once again. Superman nowhere to be seen. Wonder Woman deep need of. She needs to dig deep to break out of this. And she had just, just a little bit of energy left in the tank. Yeah, in, it, it, it's the indecisiveness. Valerie's pointing it out in the chat as well. There's a lot of indecisiveness from from Superman. And now the men both back in the ring. Soups has Mr. M up in a very delayed suplex, letting letting. Letting Mr. M have a moment to think about how he got in this position before sending him careening back to Earth. And big discus right hand. Superman, yeah, th there, there we see the indecisiveness once again. He started to walk over to the corner, changed his mind, came back. He's off. You're right, he's a little bit off. But the Italian fly from Mr. M right into the cross arm bar. Again, able to get full extend on that arm. Mr. M now dra again dragging Soups away from the ropes. Is he going to. He didn't go for the cover though. Superman half a step too quick, but right into another Italian fly. Deep cover. Soups just able to break free though. Maybe, maybe it's actually Martian Manhunter. You're on, you've got a good point there, but the so long gay Bowser is locked in. Mr. M spinning around all of the, all of the weight of Superman. All the blood rushing to his head. You get dizzy, you get disoriented, and then before you know it, bam, you're hitting the ground. But now, this is not looking good for Soups. Not only is he dizzy and disoriented, he's on the top rope. And when you're on the top rope, Mr. M, there's only one way down. And that is the Avalanche Italian Fly. This is not looking good for Superman. Mr. M, though, can barely get to his feet. Gets the cover. Wonder Woman, though, just about able to break it up. We've got we've got Ayakar in chat thinking maybe it's maybe it's not actually Superman, maybe it's Martian Manhunter. Maybe it's Bizarro. There's so many people it could be. But something is wrong with Superman. And and we need to get to the bottom of what it is. Wonder Woman though, taking control of the situation, throwing Paulian into Mr. M in the against the ropes, hitting the sleep and the leap and the perfect drop kick. Pauline though, way too close to her corner. She's gonna get that tag. And Wonder Woman does not want that. There we go. Dragging Pauline across the hypotenuse of the ring. Pauline fighting back just as quick. Wonder Woman, this, this, is, this is just... 
This is some hockey fight level striking from both teams. Big body slam though. Shutting down Pauline as uh, Wonder Woman makes the tag. Big right hand from Soups. And a second one takes down Mr. M. And grabbing deadlift gut wrench into deadlift gut wrench powerbomb. Beautiful set of words. Beautiful move. There's the splash. Soups. I, I think Superman's looking to take flight. Bouncing off. There's the right hand connect. Cover. Pauline flying in to make the save, though. No hesitation from her at yeah. all. Yeah, we, we saw hesitation from Superman. We saw hesitation from Mr. M. Lots of hesitation from Mr. M. Not a, not a second from Pauline, though. She's fucking with it. Pauline is the heart of Nudonk's finest. Mm -hmm. But Wonder Woman is the heart of Super Wonder. She's trying to get Pauline into the corner. Pauline not having any of it, though. Pauline wisely staying out of that corner. And again, going for the DDT, but once again, Wonder Woman able to muscle out of it. These two women are perfectly matched for each other. They both have each other's number. Beautiful textbook suplex from Wonder Woman. She gets a cover. Could this be it? Could this all be settled with a suplex? <sighs> Pauline, though, digging deep, getting out. <laughs> Pauline rolling to the outside. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman coaxing her back to her feet. Oh, Wonder Woman taking flight. Tope Con Hero over the top rope. Collide her legs colliding with the head of Pauline. It's not a way you wanna not a way you wanna say hello to anyone. But she bounces back. She throws Wonder Woman into the ropes. In, into the apron, sorry. And snapped suplex over the top. These two, these two women are, these two women, neither one wants to give up, neither one wants to say die. I have no idea how this, how this match is going to end, but the Lariat takes down Pauline. I think one woman knows she needs to do something about Mr. M on the outside, but, you know, if, if she hits Mr. M, that's a DQ. The big boot, that could, that could be all she needs. And the hesitation from Mr. M didn't try and break it up. And we have new champs. Well done. Here are your winners and new Wrestling is Silly Mixed Tag Team Champions, Super Wonder. That was an absolute fucking war. But Wonder Woman with that big, huge boot taking down Pauline. And again, Mr. M nowhere to be seen with with the help, no, nowhere with the assist. I mean, I can't help but feel like Wonder Woman won that for them. She did. She very much did. Um, that that really felt like it was very much a women's match that two men happened to be. Two men were also there. <laughs> yeah, they were there. And speak. Uh, um, but we've got new mixed tag champs. Uh, and they, maybe this is why they never defended it because they knew they couldn't. I mean that. Well, to be honest, I think it would be Pauline who knew they couldn't. Yeah, she's she's um, she's an expert strategist. Is is Pauline? Yeah, but also just Mr. M can be a bit useless. He can it, be. It really feels like since since they got together like as like a mixed tag, Mr. M feels like he can just kind of like relax a bit. Mm. Like ah, oh, well, Pauline will do it. Yeah, and I know, I know you know exactly what you, mean? what you mean. He he feels like he's been in like first gear this entire time yeah he's never really thought about stepping it up and he was a really dominant twitch champ for a while we know that's what i mean go. that's why like i don't understand this recent behavior because those two together they can uh or could could be rather uh lethal yep. but instead they've what defended it once and lost <laughs> mm -hmm. they they won it and then then refused to defend it and now they're now super wonder have got it um it's 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 been a really weird downfall for Mr. M, and if I'm if if I'm, if I'm Pauline in the locker room, I'm not gonna be fucking happy with that guy. Um, uh, no, I think I would be beating his ass in the next week. To be honest, I think I'd, I'd be fucking kicking him to the curb and getting a new partner because Mr. M, yeah. Mr. M's cost her, her 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 title now. It's yeah. 
Like, because where was he? Where was he with the, with the help? Where was he with the assist? Where was he? Where was his head for like nine tenths of that match? Like, where was he? And like, basically, any time she was pinned. Yeah. Where where was where was the teamwork from Mr. M? Um, yeah. It's yeah. We, we're do you reckon? In... Uh, do you reckon Mr. M's uh, shopping around looking for a newer model? Shall we say? <laughs> maybe maybe he's gotten a bit bored of uh, of New Donk City. Maybe he's uh, looking to looking to. He's looking for some New Donk Titty. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Well done, well done. <laughs> Shall we move on? Yeah. From one women's match to an actual women's match, let's talk about the women's smiley case. Doesn't it, it, it currently has no holder, and let's change that. We've got six of the brightest sparks in the women's division about to enter a ladder match to grab that case. Inside that case is, of course, a guaranteed title shot at any point. Much to the chagrin of our current women's champion, I must add, all of these women have uh, will be a surprise. I just want I just want them to to speak for themselves. Uh, so let's go down to the ring, shall we? I just hope everyone has fun. <laughs> the real winner is wrestling. <laughs> yeah, we are the real winners. This next match is a six-way ladder match for the wrestling is silly women's smiley case. On her way to the ring first from the moon, weighing in at 328 pounds to be. I love that she's from the moon. She's from the moon. Yeah, <laughs> That's where she gets where she lives. It's great. We've seen um, we've we've not seen a lot of 2B recently. It's nice to see she's back. Yeah, I mean, I wish that she was scrap tubes, but you know. <laughs> we can't have her. Never everything. forget. We can't have Never scrap tubes. Forget. Never forget. Rip, rip, rip scrap tubes. Yeah. Wipes away a single mammy's here. <laughs> Remember what they took from us. I did I did show a picture of scrap tubes in the Discord uh, a while back. Last time you got obsessed with scrap tubes. So anyone, yeah. anyone not in the Discord, go check out scrap tubes. Is she pinned? No. No, so how the fuck are they going to find them? Idiot. God, so stupid. And her opponents first, from Croft Manor in Surrey, London, weighing in at 134 pounds, Laura Croft. Um, I will, f I will find scrap tubes while Lara Croft makes her entrance. Um, Again, Lara Croft not someone we've seen a lot of recently. It's not when we when we get these uh, these these ladder matches, these smiley case matches. It's a it's a nice opportunity for uh, some some people we don't hear a lot about. It's it's and that's 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 why I love these matches. And from Cerulean City, Kanto, Japan, weighing in at 131 pounds, Misty. Misty, of course, being taken under the wing of Ursula recently to, uh, to maybe try and, you know, teach her some new things. You know, uh, 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 Ursula saw something in Misty. Ursula very much so saw... <laughs> something important in Misty. Um, something a little bit more than I thought we all thought she saw. <laughs> but now Misty, obviously no no backup allowed in these matches. So Misty coming out on her own. But Ursula and Misty have been working, working hard the past two weeks to get Misty in fighting fit shape for this match. From Spikemouth in Galler, weighing in at 133 pounds, Marty. I don't know if Marty feels a little bit pushed to the side with the. 
She had a burgeoning tag team with Misty going, and then Misty was just scooped up by Ursula. So maybe there's a little bit of animosity between these two women, but... I, I feel like I would be annoyed. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'd I be a bit like, uh, what the fuck? So Armani definitely something to prove, uh, something to prove in this match. We might see we might see a lot of aggression between Marnie and Misty. Or may I mean maybe Marnie hasn't given up on her friend Misty yet. Maybe she'll just have something to prove of like trying to win her back for the, maybe. For the tag team. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, imagine the love triangle, Marnie, Misty, and Ursula. What a mess. It sounds so great. <laughs> <laughs> and from the city of Deja Vu, weighing in at 253 pounds, Bayonetta! A crowd favorite, another one we haven't seen in a long time. I feel like the old guard, uh, the likes of, you know, 2B, Bayonetta, They've sort of stood to one side and let the new generation of women come out and come out and prove themselves. Mm. And now they've realized it is it is their time. They they are the women's division needs them again. Because we we've missed them to be. We've missed Bayonetta. Yeah. And there you go, those are all your... Oh no, there's one more! And finally, your last competitor for this evening, from the frozen outskirts of Arendelle, weighing in at 120 pounds, Elsa! I'd forgotten all about Elsa. I had it in my head that this That's was a five way, not a six you. way. That is, that is very mean of me. Elsa, a, a very good competitor. She's she's kind of a sleeper hit in the women's division. Her and uh, her and Sub Zero had a very good run as the Frozen Throne. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm not gonna let her hear that. We're, we're we're tucked away in the corner. She can't she can't hear us. There's a lot, of, a lot of good talent in this match. I, I couldn't predict a winner, um, but now, all, now that all six women have entered, it is your job to predict a winner. The bell has rang, and now it is, it is utter chaos. Misty and Two B, uh, bashing heads. Marnie, Marnie and Elsa, Two uh, Bayonetta and Lara Croft. <laughs> Bayonetta is not fucking around. Straight for the ladder. Bash someone in the face with it. I mean, Get it why? Up. Why wait? <laughs> the ladder's there to be used yeah. as a weapon and a, and an aid. Bayonetta already at the top of the ladder, going for the case. Already, she's I mean, starting to undo those locks. She is not one for wasting time. No, definitely not. And she's made it very clear in the past that. Mm -hmm the women's world title is her that's where she wants to be that's her goal you know do you know what i mean yeah. so she's yeah, got she's got a focus and this I is just another chance the hustle. For her. yeah absolutely the hustle there's miss misty that came her came over to thwart her hitting that spine buster onto the ladder and now a, a very short-lived alliance between misty and lara croft Oh, big running neck breaker there from Elsa. And now uh, Lara guillotined on to the top rope. Bayonetta, as soon as Elsa got that ladder, Bayonetta focused in, got the ladder out of her hands. She has eyes on the goddamn prize. It would not shock me if Bayonetta... Bayonetta is my, my front runner now. She's, she's the only one that, that went, you know, prize first. But meanwhile, in the corner, Spear there shutting down Marnie from Lara. 
Lara, Misty, Marnie, and Tubi all in a four-way scrum. Tubi broken away from the pack to, to take the scenic route to go and talk to Elsa. You know, just two blondes chatting. You know how it is. But Bayonetta, yeah. once again, straight back eyes on the prize. She's already got it two-fifths of the way unlocked. It, it could be hers. Bayonetta, holy fucking shit. Wow. Fucking she well. was not messing around. God damn. Here is your winner and new wrestling is silly women smiley case holder, Bayonetta. She was not messing around. She came here to win. She came here to get the title. She out. I put a five minute prediction on. There's three minutes left on it. She was not fucking around. Bayonetta is your new women smiley case holder. And if I'm, if I'm Wii Fit Trainer, I'm scared. Bayonetta has clearly got a fucking eye on the goddamn prize. I, I cannot wait for those two to bat, to, for those two to, uh, to, to knock their heads together because Bayonetta has from day one had like laid claim on the women's world title. And now yeah. she finally has a legitimate shot. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how that falls out. Um, our next match is our penultimate match of the evening. We have oh my god, is it my turn? It is, it is your turn. Yeah! Our next match this evening uh, is Darth Maul versus Zack. Zack has been not quiet about his disdain for Darth Maul in the flip shit division, have you? say disdain i would just say that i don't respect them <laughs> darth maul did not take kindly to you saying those things so he, no. he well so, yeah. he, so he challenged you and you know you never want wants unearned respect and i'm not I'm gonna give it to him so and you'll never want to turn out. down a challenge are you so gotta, uh, gotta duke it out gotta duke it out i've seen you training you've been going for it and yeah. now you darth maul for the flip shit division title i'm so glad that everyone is gonna get to see how buff i've become <laughs> oh yeah you've you've really been hitting the gym um, yeah like um, i'm so I'm, I'm so buff now like there's basically no way i can lose <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna get this prediction going because i'm, I'm very yeah, excited right, I'm, I, I think... I, I, I'm going i'm i'm going i've got right. i've got a good lad to do the yeah, entrances you, you're gonna have to bye. Go love you all uh can't wait to be back with the belt bye uh, he's, he's gone down to Gorilla, ignore the fact that he's still there. Uh, so get your predictions in now, because this is going to be a very, very interesting match. We have a brand new competitor in Zack making his in-ring debut. Um, making his in-ring debut. Uh, but I've seen him, he's, he's been training, he's been hitting the gym, we've been going to wrestling training together every week. And Darth Maul, of course, two-time uh, Flippy Shit Division title holder. This is going to be a very, very interesting match. So there's only one thing to do, and I think let's get down to the ring. Type 5 guy, wrap up, wrap up. Come on, we've, we've got a match to do. I don't know why we still invite him. Everyone is out in somebody's corner. I wonder which corner it is. The, mute, the fucking music didn't work. God damn it. We had special music for him and everything. This next match is a Flippy Shit Division title match. On his way to the ring first, making his wrestling and silly in-ring debut from... Just outside of Manchester, weighing in at something. He is permanently tired, permanently angry, and permanently hating the flippy shit division. Detective Barry. Z it is a it is a very very one sided prediction in favor of. I wonder who. <laughs> I'm really annoyed that the music didn't work. We, 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 we did get him custom music. I'm annoyed. It's always interesting when, when we see, we see commentators making their own ring debuts. It's, it's, 
Sometimes sometimes they, they excel, sometimes they fall a little bit short. I believe in Zach, I think he can do it. I think he's got what it takes to take the belt off Darth Maul. And the champion, he is from Dapamir. He weighs in at one, 215 pounds. He is your flippy shit division champion. What happened to Zach? Uh, yeah, he he got buff. He um, it's it, he got a new jumper. Um, he got a perm, and he got slightly buffer than he used to be. Uh, those are the only differences. It's a very very minor, very very minor buff buffness. Uh, it's <laughs> one sided because you accidentally put twenty five hundred instead of two fifty. I see, I see. Oh uh, well, now he's now he's got to win. If you if you put two and a half k on the side of Darth Maul, I mean, don't let Zach hear that. Because, because that's 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 not gonna make you very happy. Come on, there's only sixty points in favor of, only sixty points in favor of Zach. Come on, believe in this man. I think he, I think he's gonna win. I'm not allowed to put my my whiz balls in because one, I've got infinite whiz balls, and two, I can't make predictions on my own channel. But somebody, somebody put, some, somebody bet on Zach for me. Man, man's gonna walk away as champ. He's gonna walk away as champ. I believe in it. No bias on the commentary desk, of course, of course, of course, of course. But I believe in him. It's 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 love wins. It's Valentine's Day. I gotta believe in my man. I gotta have my man. Darth Maul really, really making the most of his time with the belt. He's he's never he's never one for a quick entrance. Got to show all four corners that this big teal belt is his prize. He's won it once off Rue, and now he wants to defend it against Zach. He is, he's aim, he's taking aim at all of at all of my favourite twinks, and I can't believe he's doing this to me. This is this is targeted on me specifically. Such an accurate portrayal of Zach. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad of how, of how accurate that portrayal is. It looks just like the real thing. Darth Maul, not, not looking, not looking like he's in danger at all. He's very confident c coming into this, but you've got to be confident when you're the champ. He's called, he's called his shot twice now. Can he make it two for two? Got Gus out referee in this one. Everyone have a look at the the the, the teal abomination. Rue insisted we paint it teal. He 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 kept hold of it for eight weeks. But he insisted we kept it teal. And there we go, the bell has rung, and Zach big boot out the gate taking I, did that big boot bust open Darth Maul? Zach is not fucking around today. Darth Maul, though, going for the springboard cross body. Didn't quite catch all of it, but still took the man to his to, to the floor. Darth Maul with these stumps. And now grabbing the arm, going for the cross arm breaker. Now, Darth Maul has no way to prepare for... for he, he doesn't know what Zach's finishes are, doesn't know what Zach's signature moves are, does not know how Zach fights. Um, so he so he's kind of just got a got a... Bring out his best and hope that he can neutralize the right body parts when he needs to. The the wheel kick takes Zach down and the code breaker, code breaker again doesn't quite catch all of it, but catches him a cropper just enough to take Zach down. Darth Maul though struggling to his feet. Zach rolling to the outside for a moment of peace, but a tope suicida by surprise taking him down. Oh, dropping the knee right on the face, right on the moneymaker. Come on, Darth. And, oh, going for the spinning neckbreaker. Darth Maul taking a moment to vamp for the fans. I don't know if Darth Maul is beloved by the fans or behated by the fans, but either way, Zach with the boots up, maybe playing possum a little bit there. Returning Darth Maul to the ring, getting in 
to, again, this has got to be finished in the ring. Gus is up to a five count series of strikes. Big judo tossed off. Maul now going for the going for the outside. Tope suicida, but nobody home. Zach crashes shoulder first into the mats. Hope he doesn't slow him down too much as Darth Maul rolls him back inside. Zach now heading towards the ropes, resting for just a moment. But Darth Maul hitting him with the knife edge chops. Badly, badly positioned. And now the rope assisted power bomb. And, oh, just kicking him right in the inner thigh. Such a weird place to target. But Darth Maul, I mean, he's got, he's got to be rhyme behind the... There's got to be method behind the madness. Now Darth Maul, oh, low drop kick takes him down. Is he going for the death of the Dathomir Sunrise? Wow, Darth Maul looking to shut this up early. Gets the cover. Oh, Zach muscles through with a two count. Darth Maul, though, he's looking for something. He's got something, but, but no, Zach catches the boot. Step up Enziguri, though. Darth Maul reversing the reversal. Darth up to the top rope now. And big, meaty elbow drop right between the shoulder blades. Zach's in a tough spot right now, but he's come back, he's come back from worse. We've seen other wrestlers come back from worse as well. Wrist control, beautiful. Yeah, Darth Maul, it's quite hard to see, of course, with Darth Maul's face, but he is bleeding, blood streaming down his face. The German suplex, and now the dragon suplex. Beautiful combination. What is he doing now? Into a second ger and German bridge. Oof, and that could have been the end of the, the end of the show right about there, but because that, that would have been a very, very snazzy way for Zack to win that belt. And instead, we've got a... Oh, oh! Darth Maul comes crashing down on his own knee. Very unorthodox uh, knee breaker there. But if but Zach never does anything by the book, so I'm not surprised he's a little bit out of the box. But the trip from Darth Maul shuts down the offense. And Darth Maul going for, again, the arm breaker, targeting that left arm. I don't know if that's a wise choice or not. I mean, I, I know how Zach fights. I, I've seen him train. I know, I know what his finishes are. But I, but I know Darth Maul doesn't know that. He's just taking a chance. Oh. Darth Maul now grabbing. Has control of the wrist into the short arm lariat. And again, he's going for... He's got something prepared. He's got something in the tank. And he's got the... The, the fear factor. That package pile driver dropping Zach right on his head. Gets the cover. Oh. And that is all it took. Darth Maul coming away with the win. Here is your winner and still wrestling is silly flippy shit champion, Darth Maul. Absolutely tragic. Absolutely tragic. But getting dropped on your head, that's, that's, that, that'll shut down the strongest men. I'm a bit, I'm disappointed, but he tried his best. He tried his best. <sighs> All according to plan. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to elaborate? Yeah, because now when I rematch him, because he's a massive piece of shit, he's going <laughs> to think I'm bad. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see. This is all. Yeah. You've got. You've got. You've got a long place. Yeah. 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 In yeah. Place. Did you, oh, did you think I was just gonna take it off in the first time? No. No. I've got to make him think that I'm shit, ah. and then when I take it off him next time, it, it'll feel worse. Of course. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I, I've. I've got the psychology game as well. Going I'm for not the, going for the long. The long. Yeah. Game. Yeah. 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 Long term booking. So, are you gonna go yeah. straight? Are you gonna go straight for him again, or are you gonna sort of? Gonna no, do, no, do, I'm, do gonna let, I'm gonna let I'm, I'm gonna let him forget I exist again. Let, let him forget come about back, it. and he's gonna go. Oh, that, that yeah, that guy that had that one shit match with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, that'll be an easy defend. I won't even have to worry about it. And then I'll be like, bah! and I'll win it. And then I'll be like, ha, fuck you and your shitty division. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a valiant effort either way. You you you, you fought a good match. Um, even if you did throw it, I, I'm I'm, I'm yeah, totally yeah, on his yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did all according yeah. to plan. <laughs> And uh, and now because because you, you because you you got in the ring, uh, mm. the, this next match is a treat for just you because oh, we thanks. are 
Everyone in chat, close your eyes. <laughs> we are at our main event. We are at our main event here uh, at Wrestling is Silly Love Wins. Darth Maul should get a chant. I should make a new wave of chants. I know. I just I keep forgetting. No, it's fine. I'm going to take it off him you, soon enough anyway. You just need to make a zap chant. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get right on that as well. Yeah. Um, but your main event for this evening, he announced it last week. He is cashing in his smiley case on his new tag team champion partner, Majima Kiryu, one on one for the Wrestling is Silly Men's World Championship. You've got more skin in this game than anybody else. More skin than you had in the last match, I, I would say. Um, than you uh, yeah, definitely. I definitely care more about who wins this one than I even did about winning the fucking flippy <laughs> shit belt. So, so, who do you think has an edge in going into this match? As an edge, I think you've really got to hand it to like champs advantage. I don't, mm. I don't know what the actual wrestling term. Champs is. advantage. Uh, it is just called that. Cool, <laughs> sick. I guess. Um, <laughs> well done. I, I think champions advantage is gonna ultimately be the deciding factor because they're both so equally. I would say they're pretty equal fighters, right? Like, I think of, of skill level, they've both really got what it takes. Um, so, I, I just think that when there's nothing else, I think wanting to keep it... Oh, but do I think Majima wants the belt more than I think Kiri wants to keep it? That's such a good question. It is such a good question, you. You have to... So... Do, you're doing you're doing your two man booth all on your own. Um, uh, yeah, I finally, really. I get, I get am. a moment to rest. I get a moment to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, do you know? What? I think I've changed my mind. I think, think I think that think Majima, Majima really wants edge. it more than Kiri wants to keep it. I mean, it's either way, it's going to be one hell of a match. There's only one way to find out. Let's go down to the ring for our main event. Wrestling is silly. Your main event tonight is a smiley case cash in for the men's world championship. Making his way to the ring first, the challenger from Tokyo, Japan. He is one half of the Wrestling is Silly Tag Team Champions and men's smiley case holder, Majima Goro. Covered in gold, these, these men. <laughs> Absolutely covered in gold. This is gonna be this is gonna be a, a fight for the ages. God he thinks he's such hot shit right now. Bro. I mean he is hot shit know. though, and he he's he's, <laughs> he's won a title already today. He's got the case. Could you imagine could you imagine if he won a second? If that, he wins two be... titles in one day, he like his ego will never recover. We will literally never get him out of the arena because his right. head will inflate so much. He will he will ride that high for years oh yeah we will never hear the end of it in fact we're gonna have to st it, if he wins we're gonna have to stop booking him because otherwise his ego will never have the chance to deflate and the champion he is the other half of the wrestling is silly tag team champion and the reigning and defending wrestling is silly men's world champion from Kamurocho, Tokyo, the fourth chairman of the Dojima family, the dragon of Dojima, 
Kill Kazuma. Oh, gonna need to fire the announcer again. He was the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Fuck. I knew that was wrong, and that's why I paused. But I already said the word <laughs> Dojima. It's fine. We've all done it. Let's be honest. There's that many families and factions so, and yeah. clans and. There's so many uh, things. Yeah. Kazzy two belts is real. Kazzy two belts. Kazzy two belts. Look at that's him. That's the only. That's the only title that matters. Kazzy two belts. Cannot believe we got spot boys. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll forget it by the time it happens. Tiny T, welcome to, welcome to Wrestling is Silly. You are just in just time in for time. our yeah. main event of Love Wins. Majima versus Kiryu for the men's world title. They opened the match by winning the Wrestling is Silly tag team title. And now they are going one-on-one -on -one for the world title title you are here just in time tiny t welcome and everyone that came with you oh he's focusing he's charging up his heat this is going to be one emotional match <laughs> are you telling me kiri is trying to get in heat he's trying to get he's already in heat <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get into climax heat mode which is when he gets extra <laughs> everyone's heat. just gonna have to evacuate the locker rooms it's gonna yeah. be a disaster <laughs> <laughs> But yes, if, if you have come with Tiny T, this is Wrestling is Silly, a lovely, wonderful, ridiculously stupid wrestling show in which CPU fights CPU and me and Zach commentate over the top. Say hi, Zach. Hi. Um, my name is Eden. That is Zach. We are the commentary team. We are the bookers. And this is our main event, Majima versus Kiryu for the Wrestling is Silly Men's World Championship. Kiryu after a, after a heated start, knife edge chops, but Majima blocking that third one, getting his way out the corner. But Kiryu is one step ahead, ducking under that roundhouse kick. These two men know each other better than any duo in Wrestling is Silly. The chanting is wild. The crowd is electric for this match. Again, this is the second time these two men have wrestled this evening. They've already won the Wrestling is Silly Tag Team titles this very evening. So... And this is off the back of the, they tagged together before and then split up last September and then only got paired together in a blind tag tournament, which means that their names were pulled out of a hat and they just happened to be paired back up again. And yeah, then they won that tournament, have gone on to win. Yeah, it, it, it is a yeah. it is a storied event that has got us to this very match. Months in the making. Yeah. And now Majima already having to pull himself up, but maybe he was just playing possum to get Kiryu to come in close. But Kiryu dodging the drop kick attempt. Majima going up to his feet, but Kiryu raking the, his nails down the back of of Majima and hitting him with that critical hit knee strike. But Majima not taking that lying down, just a two count. The crowd is it. the crowd is on their feet. The crowd is electric. Kiryu, go already. Kiryu, the beast mode driver. Make it, Majima though. Majima's hit had this hit on him time and time again. He cannot take this. No. Oh my God. Here is your winner, and still, wrestling is silly men's world champion, the Dragon of Dojima, Kiryu Kazuma. Oh, shit. Wow. Holy shit. He, I mean, he's still Kazi Two Belts. Kazi Two Belts reigns supreme. The beast mode driver is all it took to keep Majima down. But I mean, that's... look, okay, in in his defense, they have just done a tag team match where he was bust open. Yes. Um, this is their second match was, of the evening. He was cleared to fight. They did have to get checked over, but that's still a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and... Oh, that 
they are going to be having some arguments about that. There's no way Majima is going to be happy about yeah, that. Yeah, there's no way that's going to be the end. I, I, I am thinking there might be a, a rematch of that. Oh no! At some point, I don't think that's the end of that. But now, now the Fight Boy friends have massive targets on their back because. Cassie two belts. Like he's now got to juggle the the singles and the tag division on his own. Um, I don't think there's there's time for interpersonal conflict in the fight boyfriends because we've we've seen the tag divisions is is fucking electric. Like you think you think now that Bob has the Twitch title, you think the rest of the Springfield Sports Center are going to just let this happen? Um, okay, I put it to you though that. When you feel very strongly about something, does somebody saying calm down make you feel any better? I mean, true. <laughs> very true. I mean? Like, oh. that... That was a very sudden end to a very emotional part of mm. both of their lives. And I don't know if Majima is going to want to take that lying down. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, Majima probably not happy with how that felt out so i don't again yeah I, I i don't think that that is going to be the last time that those two men are across the ring from one another shall we say but that does bring us to the end of wrestling is silly this evening um to all of the raiders I, I'm, I'm just going to raid you out again um if you enjoyed the snippet of wrestling is silly that you saw please do stick around we do this every single week every single wednesday at 7 p.m gmt uh there is another two hours of absolute nonsense like what we you've have seen the, today i was gonna say we have the vods channel so if anybody just wanted to even just wanted to watch the um tag match that uh kirio majima started this show with that should be up on the youtube yes uh sorry the the the, the chat bot is down but join the discord so you can you can um because because boo asked the discord uh i will put the link to the youtube as well youtube.com slash at wrestling is silly uh if you want to watch all of the vods that i've remembered to upload which is all of them for about a year i think uh the all the entire kiryu majima saga is on the channel uh you can also if you do enjoy the show you can support us by going to uh kofi.com slash wrestling is silly where you can not only um support us on a one-off basis you can join our monthly our monthly memberships where you can get perks like booking a match, um, booking a, a title match, joining one of your wrestlers out in the ring, and maybe even getting your logo on the Wrestling is Silly uh, wrestling mat. Uh, uh, this is something I'm considering adding. Um, all that and more at Kofi.com slash Wrestling is Silly. You can also buy stupid wrestling t-shirts there, like a uh, Caution, the apron is the hardest part of the ring, or a Deathmatch wrestling shirt with barbed wire on it, or a Fight Boyfriends t-shirt. Zach, how cool is the Fight Boyfriends t-shirt? Oh, it's so cool. I love that shirt. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. I, like, make sure that I don't wear it too much because I'm, like, worried about the, the like, print basically ever going. I want to own that for the rest <laughs> of my life. Um, so... I, it's my favorite, along with my Springfield Sports Center hoodie as well. I wear them together a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you can find all that, all that, all that good, good stuff and more at kofi.com slash wrestling is silly. And if we ever hit £100 a month on our, uh, uh, on our monthly Kofi, sorry, I'm trying to load up the thing. Uh, if we do hit £100 a month on our monthly Kofi memberships, we will start Wrestling Is Silly Punchline, a brand new weekly show on the YouTube channel every single Saturday with extra shows, extra recaps, extra interviews with folks that help my wrestling silly happen. Currently a quarter of the way there. If you can help out, please do. Um, but yes, come join us. Can, can be part of the community. I'm, I'm also, I'm doing, I'm doing a pub quiz Sunday night. Come join us in the Discord for a pub quiz. I used to do a pub quiz every week during lockdown on Twitch. Now I'm doing pub quizzes in the Discord. That's going to be hella fucking fun. If you love a quiz, come, come to the Discord. It's going to be a fun time. Who doesn't love a quiz? Who doesn't love a quiz? I love a fucking quiz. I don't, I don't trust anyone. Who doesn't love a quiz, <laughs> to be honest. Right? Who doesn't it love sucks. a quiz? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> But uh, but yes, that brings us to the end of wrestling. Is silly love wins. Uh, love won in the end. Um, I hope you've had a good love wins day. It might be something else today that has something to do with love, but I don't care. It's love Wednesday. Um, yeah. 
because the, yesterday was Love Tuesday. The and most today important. Love Wednesday. Um, the most important holiday ever. Yes, Love Love Wednesday is is the the only thing that's going on today. Yeah. Um, so we're going to raid out into our friend May, uh, who is playing some old PC game. Um, not so, a Yakuza game, then. Not fine, a Yakuza whatever. game. Look, not everyone can have the immaculate taste that we have. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm not. The raid message apparently isn't going to post, which is lovely. Uh, the raid message. I, what is going on with Twitch today? It's been an absolute botched mess. Right? I, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best, but it's just not happening. Oh, I'm not blaming you. It's definitely Twitch. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, it could also be one of the myriad things you use to boost these things. Or I use. I, I have. I have one thing now. It's one thing. The problem is if that one thing breaks, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right, it could be that as well. There's your raid message. Even if you just post the raid message, you've run away. That's that's all. That's all I require from you. Um, but we will be back next time, same time next time, at 7 p.m. GMT for the fallout of Resting a Silly Love Wins. Oh, that's guaranteed to be a fallout and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can already hear it started in the locker room. <laughs> in the spirit of Love Wins, tell someone that you love them because it is Love Wednesday. Zach, I love you. I love you too. And the rest of chat, I love you, but in a, in a very different way. Um, yeah. And as so, always... Sorry, sorry, <laughs> chat. Uh, you are second place to me. Very sorry. <laughs> Hope this isn't a shock to anyone. And as always... Book a near, book a far, wherever the book you are. I hope you're having a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you next time. Love you, bye. Bye.